Hello? There we go. Can you can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hi, hi, hi. This is very loud. One second. Okay, we're just turn on the master volume. Oh my days. Can everyone hear me okay? Can you hear the sound okay? I'm having trouble getting to find the game, which is great. We don't need to show the game. Mm. There we go. Boom. We're in. All right. Hopefully you can hear me over the excessive volume. People who watch VODs, just skip five minutes ahead whenever you watch me. Because it, it's always the same. It's always the same, me trying to set stuff up so it works and just it going horribly wrong. But anyway, Fallout 3 is by far the best Fallout out of all of them, in my opinion. And mainly because of the nostalgia behind it. So I figured today we'd have a little playthrough because apparently Fallout's now popular. Might be because of a little TV show. And we'll just see how we get on. But yeah, to anyone who likes Fallout, leave a like on this video maybe. It's been a while though since I played this. Um, how many years? How old is Fallout 3? It's old. I want to say like... Demonetized! We are now demonetized. If you if you watch the VOD back, I might mute this bit. I could probably skip this, but I don't want to. Nostalgia, baby. Okay, I probably could have skipped this. I've lost all ambition. 2008. Okay. Makes sense. This is on the Xbox 360 I played it. With your admission that you feel the same. So it's like... I don't know, it wasn't the same game engine, was it, as Oblivion? Slightly more advanced. But in terms of like the actual law of Fallout, so it's Fallout 76, which is like the first one, and then I think it's Fallout 2, maybe? And then Fallout 3. I could be wrong. I, there's like a timeline thing. I know, um... Ooh. War never changes. It really doesn't. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone... Thousand hours, wow. Blood ...has been spilled in the name of everything, from God, to justice, to simple psychotic rage. I feel like it's got a really good lore about it, though. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. Soon. But it was not as some had predicted. The yeah, but this is Game of the Year version, Instead, so it should be better. The apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. From Game of the year. In destroying the world. But war. War never changes.
It's actually funny because I think someone dropped some law on Twitter. Um, I was saying a minute, it's fine. By taking refuge in enormous <laughs> underground shelters known as vaults. That's 22 people who got baited, like, wait, which fallout's the best one? They had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. 101, classic. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. Are you guys watching the TV show? You were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters. And no one ever leaves. To get some of the rare items, you gotta do some devious shit. And uh, 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 I can't read that. In order to get the ghoul mask or the boogie man hood. Oh. I'm a baby! Oh my god, it reminds me of my own birth. Just less placenta. Let's see. Father? A boy or a girl? Well. Oh. <laughs> well. Oh. Oh. So, who said, who said they were woke? Who said that? I mean, come on. Who? Own up. Own up. <laughs> I've, um... A boy. I've got like two episodes left of the TV show, but I'm liking it. There's a little bit of cheese in it, but it's not too bad. Oh, James, we did it! A son, a beautiful son. Do you think in like <laughs> they were to redo this, they'd have boy, girl, and then like a list of other stuff? Look at you. Prefer not to disclose. Hi there, I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. Hi, Dad. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... Uh, I think my player name should be, um... Oh, I mean, if I was born in the vault, I'm probably gonna... They're probably not gonna have, like, the best, like, creativity. So I'm gonna call myself... Poster Oven. Yes. I think it's a good name. Do you think? Fits you. Lots of law issues. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's I think they're always going to have law issues, though, just because people, some people, you know, they've like read every single bit of text for this title since like Fallout One. It's twenty-five years, is it? Or longer now? Um. Oh, oh my God! Look at the races. <laughs> I find this weird. Why in this day and age do I find this weird? There's like, there's only four races to choose from. <laughs> oh man. I don't even care. Like, I'm not that sort of person to be fair, but it's just, it's just funny to me. All right, toaster oven. Let's give you, um, some shape to you. Let's make you have like the biggest cheeks in all the land. Oh, can I make him like look like the meme guy, the Chad meme? I just want to give myself a beard and be done, to be honest. General, no. Brown eyes, eye mouth. If I go next, I mean, let's just go to hair, facial hair. Yeah, here we go. You just go bald and have a the gentleman. I have to ask thicker. I don't know. It's like applying for a job. This is what they will ask you all the time. I mean, I don't know. If they ever ask like, stuff like that, I on purposely be like antagonistic and just like, like, I don't identify as anything. <laughs> just to be annoying. So like, I'm not really that bothered by it, but it's just funny, obviously. Because when you look back at it, work games... Were games? What's the word I'm looking for? Politically incorrect. I don't know. Maybe older games. I can imagine there's probably some like real dodgy ones in the past. Ah, I kind of like that. I'm, I think I'm gonna go with that. Should we go for hair color? Oh, I kind of like. Oh, what a distinguished gentleman. Yes. 
Okay, and then... Should I, should I give her a haircut? I don't usually have hair. What does it feel like to have hair? <laughs> two genders, four races. This game is 2008. Yep, 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 yep. He looks like the guy. He looks like Gary Oldman. Oh my god, it's Gary Oldman from Fifth Element. I've done it. Perfection. Uh, I usually want to be... Yeah. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? I identify as baby. Oh, oh, very but this is very why I choose like to be a, a, a dog. It's a big you can get offended at me being a dog. Also, why is my mouth still open? Hang on. I'm having mouth issues. Ah, oh, oh, da, da. Okay, there we go. I fixed the mouth issues. I'm no longer just like breathing through my mouth constantly. Unless I actually am. It's okay to have wrong opinions. It is. I'm always wrong. <laughs> New Vegas. I haven't played through New Vegas all the way. I was doing it on Twitch before I left. Twitch, that is. So I probably still need to go back and play Twitch. But I think Fallout 3, just for nostalgic reasons, and just like, for me, it was after playing Oblivion as well. Oh. There's a Oblivion come up first, isn't it? Then Fallout 3. I got that order right. Our fifth element is like, ageless. Timeless classic. But, yeah, what was I going to say about lore? That was it. So, apparently, apparently, one of the creators of Fallout accidentally said something and then took it back straight away. Oh, look at this tutorial. Come on, look at the tutorial. The tutorial is so good. Oh, my God. Oh, I need to walk. The graphics are good. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but the graphics, I think they're better than Oblivion. Dada. Hello. There you go. You're a handsome My guy. Goodness, just a year old and already It's up Pierce Brosnan, isn't it? Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo. Um, I don't think they have yet, but I'm not being funny. You can get good HDR mods before that fall already. I mean, that's not exactly going to keep me in here, is it? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> the baby has escaped. Can I punch it? Oh. Let's go find, like, um, a plug socket to put my fingers in. <laughs> I mean, let's play a game. Oh, you're special. S is for strength. Um, oh, do you know what? Every, Liam Neeson. All right, okay. I was one too far off. It's Irish. It was Irish, all right? Now, what I love about these fallouts is that you could literally break your character so easily just by being a pleb. Oh, okay, I can't do it. Okay. So, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to break my character. I'm going to have no charisma, no endurance, no perception. Actually, a little bit of strength. There we go. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm happy with that. We confirm that. Fallout 4's got some really good mods, to be fair. I've seen people do all sorts of crazy stuff of it. But the reason I like Fallout 3 as well is because... Was it level 50? And that's it? That's all your points? You're just done? And there's no re-rolling? So if you make bad choices, it's like you have to live with them. I like that. I kind of like that idea. Fallout 76 kind of had it. But you could re-roll, so it wasn't permanent enough. I think they should have made it like more cost-effective. Hmm. Now what? Oh, he's come to get me. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer. Run, run. That was me right for trying to pin you. Post up with one intelligence. I want to show you something. Okay. See that? It was your mother's favorite. Run away. Message. Do they have run in Fallout 3? Because I know Fallout 4 has it and Vegas doesn't. Alpha and Omega. Oh. The beginning and the end. Oh. I will give unto him that is a thirst. Uh, yes. I am looking forward to, forward to the Fallout London mod. I think that's going to be epic. I think they've done a really good job on it. I've been following it for a while now. Um, but they've like... It's crazy that they've... 
Did you ever do the Skyrim, uh, Beyond Skyrim mods? So they did like uh, Beyond Skyrim Bruma. Uh, I think they did um, Skalgrad. Skalgrad? Did I say it right? So it's similar to that in the sense of like basically creating a whole new area. And it's pretty decent in that sense. It's been delayed. Ooh. Oh, thank you, thank you. Happy birthday, thank you. Can we get a like in chat for my birthday? Thank you. Birthday, pal. I yes. can't yes. believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. Bree has run. Oh, it doesn't have run. Why did New Vegas not have a run? You have to get a mod to make it run. Down here in Vault 101. When you turn ten, well. What up for updates? Twenty fifth. Oh, that's why it's delayed. Okay. That's why they, they've delayed As Fallout always, London. I present to you your very okay. own Pip Boy 3000. Give me. Give me Pip Boy. Give me. Because be they're going to break all the mods with the update. <laughs> every time they update like Fallout or Skyrim, they just break every single mod that's out there. So a lot of people just don't update Happy it. Birthday. We really surprised you, didn't we? Yeah, sure. <laughs> your dad was afraid you were onto us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy. Yeah, I was to so surprised. Um, is this it? Or has the real party started yet? Shut up! And it isn't my fault that Butch and Wally are. Do you here. notice how like? We had to invite them. I like the fact that I don't have a voice. Name. Keep Time it that way. Your present. What do you think I got you? You got Come me a on, gun. Try to guess. Just give me the present already. Okay, okay. One last question. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Yeah. Is 14 and with no missing pages. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I found this in a box of my father's old things. Can you believe it? Kind of weird to think about him reading comic books. I guess I better let you get back to yeah, Anyone else place. reading the yes. notice board is just me. Later, okay? Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was 10. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Alright, well. Hey, happy birthday, it's time to count the cake. <laughs> A punch in the face. Oh, thank you. How's it going, pal? Don't run away. You should stay and enjoy your birthday party. Mortified about the cake in his hand. Come on, Wally. You always have good ideas. Yeah. When do I get my gun? The Mackers. Super cool, right? I put my pie hat on. Who's the head of the gang? You or me? No way. That's a look at my pit boy. Is that what I make me do? Don't, don't mind me. I'm just trying to figure out the controls. There we go. So, what do you think we should Hi, Dad. Do Having a good time? It yes. wasn't easy keeping this a secret. Now go off. I'm sure everyone else would like a challenge. Don't go around all day being called a quick nonsense. I say that I need to enjoy my birthday, but I don't want to enjoy it. Yeah, I'm having loads of fun. I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. Toaster oven. She really seems to like you. Toaster was my brother. He died to a coat hanger. Uh, <laughs> I've taken a dark twist today, I'm sorry. I do not I remember three ha run in, uh, having run ins. It's been a lot. <laughs> Let me try and put my teeth back in. I think I remember three having run in. It's been a long time. I guess not. It's been 15 or so years. Why can't I read that sentence? Is that me? Okay. I know Amata understands that perfectly well. Are you having a nice All right. Time? Green. Just because I came to your party doesn't mean I have to talk to you. I need to do the jukebox aside. Like. Now go on. You guys enjoy do better than that. I'm enjoying myself. Let me go. Once you have finished being a good host. I got to talk to one. Party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. I'm getting Balloons, stuck in that the tutorial. Party hats. This is why people Not hate my reviews. My party though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium. Oh yeah, that's great, mate. Right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. It was at this point, Toaster Oven murdered his whole party. Hello, Paul Hammond. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't... So for some reason, I think Fallout New Vegas is the one about run. Happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. Uh, so free had to always run my kind of like Skyrim PC. You just press the button to walk. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
You just finished Dark Age of Camelot? Thank you. Wait, do you mean playing the game or watching the video? <laughs> Who are left? Who's left to speak to? Do I have to speak to this show? Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Oh, I think I remember free having run in. It's been a long time. Yes, sorry. I'm so slow today. I've had very little sleep. My sleep at the minute is bad. Um, I hope you brought me something better than last year. Oh, well, now. Young wow. people were more polite back in my day. No we running free. Todd wants elders. you to walk and enjoy the scenery. Of course, we had a real overseer back then, worthy of respect. I mean, it's kind of like archaic there, not to have running in games. I can't. But I think. Hear me out. Was it Call of Duty, oh my, which basically made people do talk, running? Still waiting patiently. Duty New Community didn't have to run. I suppose you could have asked more politely. Duty Can Three D that is. But it is still your Golden Eye didn't have run. So here you go. So it must be like Call of Duty because everyone, if you want to run fast. Just oh, thank you for the sweet roll. So like very Skyrim, very meta. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Ah, oh, fist fight, fist fight. Yeah, I'd have to share it. It's my birthday. Mrs. Palmer said I didn't have to share. Who's talking about sharing, moron? I want the whole thing. Now, are you gonna give me that sweet roll, or am I gonna have to give you a knuckle sandwich? Is at this point, toast oven bought out the nine millimeter. Uh, what your mum drank up all the ration. <laughs> oh, oh, let's go for. Yeah, let's go. You do look hungry. What your mum drank up all the ration coupons again? <laughs> Don't you talk about my mom, you little punk. Yeah, what? Let's go. Let's go. Shit, where's my fists? Where's my fists? Give me my fists! Why, why, why have I got a fist? Fuck's sake. That is great. Butch, what do you think you're doing? Leave him alone. Oh, right. I want to fight back. You all right, son? Well, yes. He didn't hurt you, did you? No. Enjoying yourself? Okay. Well. How's it going, pal? Like I said, it's been a while since I played. Are you all right? Is Butch <laughs> giving you a hard time again? Uh, I can handle Butch. I'm glad to hear it. Once you start letting bullies push you around, you'll never see the end of it. Come on now. I bet there's someone else out there with a present for you. Just give me the gun already. I remember you had to shoot. Happy birthday. Oh, oh. oh my god. What's Butch's problem anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. I know, right? Um Yeah, that's the OC. Can't you talk to him about Butch? Uh, it was kind of my fault. No, the jerk tried to steal my sweet roll. God, he really is a butthead. Oh well. Hey, bad chocolate. Boy. How's it going? Butch to make an ass of himself. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> the comedy in this game is lacking. All right, who am I talking to now? Is it you, you Barbara? Somebody's got Listen, to have a better idea. How do you like that Pip Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? Yes. Um. I had it. Uh, Wally said my pit boy was a piece of junk. Yeah. Don't you listen to him. The A series may be a bit heavier than the luxury models, but they were built to last. Solid as a vault they are, and I fixed her up myself. Shouldn't need to open her up again for a decade or two. How long do you think it'll be before we actually have pit boys? Yawn. That's really not interesting. Sure, most people don't give a thought to their pit boy as long as it keeps working. Well, anyway, I got this for your birthday. It isn't much, and you probably already have one. But there you go. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks for being a good host. I Thank have something you. I want to show you. Why don't you suggest something? Yeah, show me. Uh, never mind. Ten I can't believe my mother okay. would have been proud of you, son. Party. Now go on and enjoy your party. Okay, I'm trying to enjoy my party, but you won't let me escape. Are you having a nice time? Yes, I'm having a lovely time. Father, why have you brought me here? Can we leave, Father? Hey, Doc. We're all set down we have here. Apple Watch. 
It's not the same. I'll send them right down. That's not hey, the same. That's Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs. Well, that sounds the same. Yeah, I picked this up for Go three ahead. pounds. I was quite I don't think impressed myself. Slip out I've already got the other ones. I literally have all the fallouts apart from this one. The four that go by it. I think I've got it on like, Steam Cell last time. I do still like 76. I know people really hate 76, but I'm not against it. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. You did. I'm not a girl, and I'm not five, so stop calling me dearie. <laughs> of course you're not five. <laughs> you're a big ten-year-old man now, aren't you? With your very own pit boy I think she's trying to chirp me up. You know what I did? Just for the occasion. Smartwatch? It's not the same. I hope you like it. It's too small a screen. Imagine if you actually had, like, a pit boy which was, like, you know, I don't know how many inches, like... A... Imagine attaching your phone to your wrist like a Pip Boy. <gasps> what if they did that? What if they did like an attachment where you can get like a Pip Boy app on your phone, then like have like the wrist strap thing and then just insert your phone in? I would potentially not buy that. I bought a spot in Vault 111 just a few days ago. Could never be too prepared. I hear Vault 111 is one of the more expensive ones, so you should be in for a good time. Maybe chips instead. Oh. Uh, just grabbed it for 10 coming a year. 10? Ten dollars, man! You got ripped off. You actually got ripped off. I literally, literally paid three pounds. A poem? You've got to be kidding me. No, really. I wrote it just for you. I'd never just copy one of my old poems. Well, there was that one Founder's Day where I couldn't rhyme anything with overseer. Oh yeah, so the little you fun fact was going to say. less than a brand new poem. You can keep it in your. So I think it's one of the writers' uh, fallout. Um, he dropped a little fact, and it was like, in Fallout 1, there's like a cutscene, and basically one of the soldiers is apparently the guy from Fallout 4, and then he quickly retracted that, because that mean you play as a war criminal in Fallout 4, which he didn't want people to do. <laughs> so, yeah, fun fact. There's probably more details to it than I actually said, uh, mainly because I'm butchering the law. Enjoy the party, sir. Oh wait, well, I'm not supposed to... I only showed up because I'm not friends with the brat. I've gone the wrong way. Ideas. Wait, am I going this way? We're we, we going this way? Hello. Sounds like everybody's having a good time in there. Give them a few more minutes and then I want that place cleaned up and everybody back to work. Oh wow, he's kind of mean. Sure thing, sir. The overseer does not like me. Uh, I was a... I was... I was a little burnt pre... I was a little... That's not a word. Put spaces in. You make me sound stupid. I was a little burnt pre-ordering it, getting a choppy release, so they could only uh, charge for it to be good. But I don't have some fun. Hello. What are you doing down here, young nah, man? I mean, Fallout 76. I, I don't mind it on release, it on but I didn't get the pre-order any of the stuff that didn't arrive. I'm not a kid. <laughs> you sure are. Boy but I must have like sunk quite a lot of hours into it for like the first couple of months. But then once it, it just got a bit repetitive, and it's the same thing that happened again um, this year when I played well, last year when I played it. So I sunk a lot of hours into it. I think I've done about eighty hours, which may or may not seem like a lot to some people. Are you ready for your surprise? Oh, the overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So. I figure you're old Time to for shoot this. some. Your own BB gun. Yeah. It's a little old. But it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Yeah, I'll give it a try. We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Yeah, I mean, all the pre-order shenanigans was pretty bad. I mean, I know the game was buggy, but I didn't have it be that game-breaking for me. Like, I still sunk in a lot of hours, had friends playing at the same time. Uh, there's the overpowered shotgun, which really annoyed me. Like, the one of the explosive oh, rounds was so dumb. That, that ruined the game for a while. But I think it's just the same with, like, a lot of the Bethesda stuff. They have a really good, like, start and middle, and when it comes to, like, the ending... Well, it was supposed to be an MMO, right? So the idea is it 
carries on for quite some time, but um, Couldn't have it just didn't happen. Help. You just got to the end. Sure to Scorch Beast, Power Armor, boring. You know, you had all the stuff for your bases, it was just... I think taking out the NPCs is a very weird move as well. Alright, let's go shoot. Ah, oh, so good. What? That was... I, I was... What? That wasn't me. Probably not, because I can't aim for... Sh the aiming for is clunky. Can I use my mouse? Ah, uh, it's not registering the mouse. I wouldn't mind using mouse and keyboard on this one. One less round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Okay, hey, Dad. Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile. Let's go. Cheese. Oh. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. Oh. So yes, you have to go to class to take your goat exam. Go on now. You've got a goat to take. Uh, but I was sick. No, you are not. Really. When I started studying medicine, one of the first things I learned was how to spot a kid playing sick to get out of taking a test. You'll do fine. It's What's the day. consequence if you do a test badly? Do you get like the bad I job, don't you? You have to. And so does everyone else. I've been watching the I'm Fallout show. I'm on like episode seven, so like, I think it's like the last two episodes to go. If you say so, Dad. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the. Goal. But I've always felt that no, Fallout's not so bad. Got one of the best everyone stories. To take it, you'll do just fine. In terms of like lore and stuff, compared to like the Elder Scrolls, and I know people love the Elder Scrolls, but I just I don't know. I've always liked Fallout more. The only problem is with Fallout. Is that they've not got a decent MMORPG. Take care, son. I got out of here. And, and that's the thing, that like, 76 should have been a lot better than what it was. But Fallout together, um, they're doing that for Fallout 4. So like similar to Skyrim together. I think that'd be really good. I think Fallout New Vegas has a multiplayer mod. And there's a Gary's mod for New Vegas. I saw some friends Oh. I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. I punch him. I punch him. Leave me alone. This could be fun. This isn't solving Come anything. Come on, tunnel snakes. You're pathetic. This isn't even worth our time. Yeah. You and your little girlfriend have fun together. We're out of here. Come on, tunnel snakes. Let's go. The premises behind, like, not having NPCs made sense. Like, you are the NPCs. And it's sort of like nice did a video the other day about main character syndrome and how like MMOs, you, you're you not the main character, you know, you're just working towards a bigger goal. And that's how Fallout 76 should have felt. God, that's but terrible. they just, I don't know, they, they've done something wrong. I think the problem is when you have Fallout, which is like a solo RPG game, and then you try and make it like an MMO with dailies and stuff, you're just going to piss a lot of people off. Thanks for getting rid of them. Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Yeah, Fallout 76, but Rust style will be interesting. Well, the thing is, people don't want that because, like I said, they're all they're into the single player. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Fallout 4 of all the DLC is 9 on Steam right now. 76 is 7 99 or free. Let's try for three days. If you... You can use Game Pass version of all these games, what I like Fallout's on Game Pass. But I'll tell you this now: do not, do not play Fallout on Game Pass if you have a PC, because one, you can't mod it, and two, anything that breaks is so slow for them to react to it. Um, so I think Fallout 76 had like a update. I think it was last year, and if you had um, Game Pass, like you couldn't just get into the game. Whereas anyone on Steam, easy peasy. So, yeah. But it's also like just modern. Never buy any Bethesda game through Game Pass. Just stick to Steam. We'll start as soon as All epic game stuff. I think you've done there. Yeah, it, it felt like the problem. Okay, so hear me out. 
If Fallout 76 wasn't limited to the amount of people on the map and they were spread out more, it would probably work pretty well. But because people were like, I think it was like 20 people on the map maybe. It's too big a map, you don't see anyone. People weren't really communicating much. You should have had like player hubs, places where people would like naturally go and meet. But all you had was the Scorch Beast in the bottom right corner because someone dropped a nuke. And I think as well, like... Wait. Oh no. I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. Oh. What's your response? Yeah, um, hmm. But that so, wouldn't that cause robotic destabilization of the fission singularity? Hmm, I can't remember what the answers were. I'm gonna say, say nothing but slip away before the scientist can continue his run. I know, because he's gonna put in mine. I'm gonna knock him out with a wrench. Question two. Uh oh. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbled. How's it going, Seth? Welcome in. Infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor stepped out for a while. By the way, I haven't given up on Oblivion. I'm just pausing it. Um, I've actually got a video to do for Thursday in some regards to the NDA thing I saw or didn't see. I can't say. And then. After that, there's another game I'm going to play uh, as part of a potential sponsorship deal. Um, but I'm going to see if I can put 100 hours into it. I don't know if I can stream it or not. I might not be able to stream the other game. But yeah, I'm going to try and mix up some more Oblivion at some point. Or maybe some more Fallout, see how this goes. Uh, while working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Hmm... Uh, I feel like amputating it would be the obvious choice, but why did the doctor step away unless it wasn't an emergency? So in that case, I think we're restraining merely observe. Question three: You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's uh -oh. angry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I mean. How how old is he? What's the stolen property? Um, hmm. I'm going to turn him into the overseer because I'm a brown noser. Yes. Question four. Congratulations. I had this idea that you build towns that show and you can go attack another person's town and all that good stuff. Instead, I met like four people in 30 hours of play. Yeah, and the PvP wasn't on. I think if they had the PvP on more and maybe potentially had the weapons work differently because it literally was power armor minigun you're op they needed to make it so that you didn't have to have power armor to be op or um have some i don't know i don't think the perks were that well optimized they could have made it a lot better and then that might have encouraged more like variety in the builds um, they did introduce events, but what happens is with the events is everyone goes there, blasts the shit out of everything, and then leaves. There's no real like collaboration. I think they added a mole boss last time I played, which, by the looks of it, it was just more like um, a bullet sponge than actual, you know, like raid mechanics. If that makes sense. Congratulations, you made one of Vault One One baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? I want to play soccer. <laughs> Yeah, British. It's hard. I'm thinking about getting so six, but I'm also playing Art Power World. So do I need another survival crafting? Well, so six you can pick up and play whenever. There's no sub fee. Um, I, I enjoy it. I mean, it's not something I'm gonna install right away, but if I have the option, it's nice to have it. It's a good one to play, but if you're not ready to like put some time into it, I wouldn't bother. Bethesda Fallout Online win. <laughs> Um, that'd be good though if they actually made a proper I don't know I, they, they haven't got the ability to do it look like they did with Starfield I don't think they'll I think they'll just mess it up all the same 6 players on Steam went from average 7k players to 32 mate I'm telling you right now every time I've gone and looked at um, Twitch or YouTube the amount of people I've seen like streaming these games, like, everyone's just like loved the program and jumped onto it it's what I'm doing now because I kind of just got that itch like ah do you know what can't want to go back and play Fallout. 
And it's because that TV series was so good. I mean, I've not finished it yet, so hopefully don't cock up the last two episodes. But so far, so good. I don't think it's perfect by any means. I think there's still some little bits of stupidity to it. But yeah, it's TV. You started playing this yesterday? Good lad. Or ladette. Oh, uh, X lad. I don't know. <laughs> uh, your grandma invites you to the tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault person. What do you do? She could be a raider. Uh, offer your most precise possessions for the rest of the... Uh, no, yeah, obey your elders, obviously. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters. Uh, not Mr. Abernathy. You've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? You can... There's not unofficial servers. There are servers that you can host yourself, but only if you have the Fallout Prime or whatever it is. I can't remember what the subscription's called. I think it's like Day One or whatever it is. Um, I never bothered buying that, but they also have like a kind of crown store, but not as bad as the crown store, because you can actually earn the atoms in-game. So... But yeah, the subscription gives you like uh, I think there's more stash stash space. You can make your own server and a few other bits. That's about it. Is Atlantic City worth it? I couldn't even tell you. Really good. Seventy six should be more like Destiny. In terms of Destiny's open world, yeah, but Destiny's only instance to six people. But I, I get what you mean. But then it's sort of would it become too like Borderlands? Maybe I don't know. I can't download on Fallout 4 because I want to jump back in. Due to... So the thing is as well, Fallout 4's got an update coming out. There's also Fallout London coming out. So it's a good time to get into it. Like, it's a nice, like, time waste, if it makes sense. Uh, I'm just going to use the bow pin. To, I mean, yeah. Question seven. I should really get oh, through no. this. <laughs> You've been exposed to radiation. And a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. Fallout first. That was it. Of treatment. Raise your hand if you have over 1k hours in Fallout 4. I can't even tell you because I played it on Xbox. And Xbox is really bad at recording hours. I probably have about... I don't know. The thing is with Fallout 4, I did a lot of the base building. Like, come, quick, there's settlements in danger. I was loving that. I built loads of different settlements. That's the thing I love the most about it. And now you've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best cause of action? I mean, right away. Maybe God will spare you in exchange for a life of pious devotion. Uh, large dose of anti-mutagen. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book. I have 1k on PC. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Ooh. Still a comic book. At gunpoint. Um, I'm going to wait for him to be unconscious. Because that seems fair. If there is... No, no, not go end that sentence. <laughs> you decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. Oh. You his private oh, bro. No one is looking and... He's, uh, his private res... Okay, loosen the bolts and some pipes. When the sink is turned on, the rest of them will flood. Put a firecrack in the toilet. That should cause some chaos. Break into the lock medicine cabinet and replace his high blood pressure medication with sugar pills. That'll kill him. Manipulate the power wattage on his razor so he'll get an electric shock the next time he shaves. Yes! Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our... Downloading for that so six right now. I am tempted to download and play it again, but I just feel like... I don't know. I felt like I wanted that solo experience. Which is why Fallout 76 would be perfect. <laughs> I don't know. Fallout 76 just... I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. It's not quite there. I like it. Well, though. there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know... What don't worry. Um, good I've got like 10 copies of Skyrim. We all fall for it. Or to pray, as the situation warrants. Alright. I hate this butch kid. Punch him in the back of the head. Where, where'd I put it? Do you want it? Here you are, Mr. Bratch. I've got to wait in line. Okay. Role play. For you to worry about Miss Almodovar. Let's see. 
But yeah, in regards to the next gen update, there are mods to make it look just as nice, so. Thanks. See you tomorrow. You can get like a HDR mod, I think. Yo, teach. I'm done. Ah, uh, but that. Oh my god. I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time. Allow me. Do I think AI will make games better? Now then, let's see. Um What's that MMO I played recently? I can't remember what it's called. Oh, Raven Dawn. Okay. So, Raven Dawn uses some AI, I think, is mainly the voice acting. Oh, let's kick off. Okay. Interesting. Clinical test subject. Uh oh. Sounds like something you should excel at. I guess you and your dad will be working together. I'm a test subject? That can't be right. The stupid test got it all wrong. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously. Look where I ended up. Just between you and me, the whole test is a joke. Damn. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. Oh. Oh. I don't think I want to be unarmed. Why did it make me unarmed? No. No, I want to reset that. Let's go for... I kind of like small guns, pistols. Pew pew. But... Oh, barter? Now nah, we'll go small guns. He's have to. It makes sense. I'm all done, Mr. Broch. Exit yes. the classroom. Uh, yeah, so Raven Dawn used some AI parts to it, and it wasn't the worst. But I guess it's kind of like assets in video games. Of course, what up, free? It's the best one. Yes. Come on, you've got to wake up. I'm wake. I'm wake. What's wrong? You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you. Oh no! What do you mean, my dad is gone? He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone, and my father—he's kind of gone crazy. Uh oh! I've never seen you so scared. What's happened? It's Jonas! They killed him! My father's men. They took him and... Oh my god, you have to leave now! Okay, okay. Are you okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. I know Jonas was your friend. Which one was Jonas? But we've got to go now. My father's men will be here any minute. Oh no, okay. Uh, okay. Um, you're right. I can't stay here, but where can I go? I'm sorry, but... I think you'll have to follow your dad. You'll have to escape from the vault. Listen, maybe it isn't any of my business, but didn't your dad tell you that he was leaving? Uh, no, I had no idea. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure he had his. He went reasons. out to get milk. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you. Uh, who's that? It doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Escape the vault? How? Listen. There's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. Okay. That's how I always get in. Sounds like a good plan. Let's get out oh, of here. One more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Okay, thanks. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck. Ooh, I'm gonna take the gun, I'm gonna take, yeah, I'll take that, take the stim packs, got ten of those, and eventually I'm gonna remember the controls, so it'll be good. Uh, let's equip the gun. Do I need to favorite these? I have to favorite them, don't I? How do you favorite? Is it Y? No, hotkey. Okay, and then. We want to use baseball bat. We'll do one. Why not BB gun? Let's go, Negan style. No, you hold it. I got sneak. Okay. Yeah, I think Fortnite Freeze one of my favorite ones. That's why I like picked it over. Oh. My bad. Um, take all. He's not dead. He's just sleeping. 
Sleepy EP. Yeah, Fallout 3 is one of my favourite ones. Fallout 4, I did obviously enjoy quite a lot. I haven't played 1 and 2. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! <laughs> Please, I know I've always been a trap roger. I know it! But you can't walk away and let her die. Just because I was an asshole. Please, I'm begging you. Oh, Butch. Oh, Butch. Bye, Butch. You're a real bastard, you know that? I hate your guts, you fucking coward. Oh, Butch. Come back here, little shit. Come here. Now what? Now what? Say something. That's half a life. Die. Die. <laughs> Should I help her? If I help her, she can then see her dead son. I'd open the door. Oh, shit. Where's the door? I'm coming. I'll save you. Okay, in karma. God, I could really use a drink right now. Didn't seem worth saving, if I'm being honest. Uh, doo -doo. Nope. Is there anything in the vault I need to remember before I leave? Like a, like a bubble head or anything like that? I don't think there is, is there? They had a new map of Fort so Yeah, so they had Pittsburgh as well before Atlantic City. So they've always been adding stuff. Um, you have to go to like White Springs and then it basically it's like a load in the screen. It'll take you somewhere else. But you have to be a certain level before you go there. Now it's even quite popular, but obviously... Oh, Grandma died. But not enough to, like, revive the game. It's funny how the TV suit... Oh! It's my brother! Toaster! How are you, Toaster? I'll, I'll, I'll take you out of here. It's okay. I've got you, Toaster. In case anyone's wondering, um, my, my name's Toaster Oven. Because, um... Vault Life. I'm sure there is a bubble. Yeah, I'm starting to think there is. I mean, it's the tutorial, right? Oh. Wait. Do a quick save. Keep save. Well, I'd save. i will have to go through it all again. Uh, Officer Gomez! That takes care of that. Just gotta walk past. Send his bubble head on your dad's desk. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Is he gonna... Officer Gomez, hello. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. Oh. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Okay. Uh, and I'll pretend you don't work for a homicidal maniac. Don't think I don't know it. Why do you think I'm letting you go? I guess you're trying to follow your dad. Maybe. Outside. But I three was my first Bethesda game. I never you, I had experienced anything else it. like it. I'm the same with Oblivion. You take care, and I hope you find your daddy. My brother played Fallout, and I played Oblivion. But then watching him play Fallout made me want to play it. He loved New Vegas as well. Okay. Should I go to the atrium? I have. I don't want to miss anything. I hate I hate missing stuff. I'm such like a little loot goblin. Just make sure we haven't missed anything. Bobblehead, thank you. Uh, you found a Vault Tech Limited Edition Bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, The smart man knows a bandage only hides his wounds. Your medicine skills have been permanently increased by 10. Let's go! Um, but yeah, anything with like collectibles like that sort of shit. Drives me mad. If you keep turning like that, I'm gonna crack your case. I, I have to do it. I have to, like, collect them all. I think Pokemon ruined me. me. Yeah, gotta catch them all. Oh, no. Tom! Oh, shit. Hmm. See if they can follow me down here, maybe. Was it for Vats, Arby? Oh. Nope. I forgot what that is. Oh, there we go. We found it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah, cool. I know how to vats. Go to your head. Confirm? 
Look at that. Oh, demonetized. Love it. Mary, Tom, no. Uh, I don't really need a pistol, do I? I think mine's in a good condition. I'll take the shotgun, though. Yep, I swear you the shotgun. Why don't I? Morrowind was my first intro to Bethesda games. 22 years later, I'm still playing them. Except Starfield. <laughs> it's fine. No, no one is going to criticise you for not playing Starfield here. I think we all agree Starfield was bad. And anyone who doesn't agree shall be forever shunned in this community. I don't know. Like I, I, like I said, I've got 100 hours in Starfield. <sighs> Tempted to review it again. Give it a second chance, but the end, and, like, I don't even end the game. I don't get to the end, but I know what happens at the end. Because I like to spoil stuff for myself. And the ending was bad as well. It's not my, no. it's not my fault. What's the matter, huh? Can't stand the sight of your own blood? Alright. He really didn't want to fight back, did he? But I don't know if they can. I still feel like they might be able to save Starfield somehow. And they, they're supposed to have a DLC out for it this year, but ugh, I don't know. Lloyd Lewis? Yeah. Uh, conductor. Grab some junk. I'm just gonna. Just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Just gotcha now. Oh, the overseer won't tolerate this kind of behavior. Oh, oh Mac. Oh. Side of the Mac. Oh. Little shit. Five bats in there. Yeah, I just got to that. Should have done that a long time ago. Oh no, you don't, Mister Overseer. Talk to me. I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. <laughs> as if I've, as if Fallout 76 to make you nervous already. I mean, you can't compare Fallout 76 to anything else because they tried to do something different. You can't be mad at them for trying to something different and it failing. It's just like, it was kind of, it wasn't what they're best at, right? Um, But the Elder Scrolls 6... I, I think if they stick to what they've done all these other times, keep it simple. I think take out like any like dragon shouts or any of that dumb shit. Because they obviously did the same in Starfield. Like, what if we have space shouts? Don't do that. Just don't do that. Have something cooler. Think outside the box. Don't do the same boring old stuff. And... I think lore-wise, I think it's Hammerfell this that they're going to, so that's the Daggerfall Covenant area. Um, so, west of Skyrim. Not west Skyrim, but west of Skyrim. I think that's a good zone. I think it's like, got some cool premises there. Um, I don't know. I think they could do good with it. It's just... It's going to take some time. Probably won't see it for like another five years, if I'm being completely honest with you. And given how long it took them to do Starfield... And fail. I don't know, man. It's a uh, it's not one. Screw the keys to your office. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that all? Is there anything else I can get you while you're here? You could die. You get nothing from me. I'll die before I see the safety of the vault compromised again. Yeah, I'm going to kill him. Fuck it. I've dealt with your kind before, you little snot-nosed punk. You should have run like your coward of a father. Say hello to Mr. Baseball Bat. <laughs> One more for good luck. There we go. Now you're dead. All right. Good talk. 
Um, so there's no point even like trying to do. do I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but from my understanding, there's no point in trying to riz Amato or whatever you call her because she doesn't leave the vault anyway. So my understanding was you can just kill anyone and everyone in here, and it's okay. Wow, what a basic room. Wait, is this a prison cell? It's a prison cell. Oh, shit. It's exactly what it looks like. I'm sorry. My God, what have you done? You killed him. Why would you kill my father? If I kill her. Get away from me. I can't talk to you right now. Well, I guess we're never going to talk then, are we? I think I'm going to do an evil playthrough. <laughs> I, think, I think I've decided. Jonas. I really liked your glasses. Note from dad. And sit back. Yeah, we'll just take it all. We're good. We're good. Anything else before I leave? Anything noteworthy? Anything? Anything? Make it multiplayer? I think they will never make any of their Skyrim's multiplayer because it's a lot of effort to do it and just by looking at what um, you know, no. the Skyrim Together guys had to go through to get it to work, it's a lot of spaghetti coding by the sounds of it. So I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. But it would be good, if, even if it's just like a two-player co-op, right? I think Todd Howard, when he got asked about um, making Fallout multiplayer, I think his... Don't quote me word for word as what he said, but it's a sim it essentially said, put two TVs next to each other and play at the same time, then it'd be like you're playing together. That was his response to multiplayer. Uh, that was before 76, though. I don't know if he's changed his mind since then, but I thought that was kind of like an interesting response. Tells you exactly what he doesn't want to do. Log in. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Uh, what the constructions? What is what is this vault doing? Uh, simply the most advanced piece of technology ever. Do I vault take? Blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. Terraform. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh, if you are reading this emergency vault into blah 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 blah. blah. Yep, yeah, radio sealed. Okay. Which if there's a success of the program. Okay, your fault may or may not have been set to, to receive a GEC module. Please see attachment A for details. Will not receive a GEC module and should operate under guidelines. Okay, well, not good. Time to leave. Where was the secret door? I forget. Is this way or not? Time to leave. Thoughts on your burger pole. You really want to bring up history like that, do you? You really, you really want to talk about the burger pole. I mean, the burger pole is just... Uh, it, it's a lot of Americans who watch me, so they're always going to have the wrong opinion. Um, sorry, America. You don't know what a burger is. Ah. So, yeah. I, I can't really help you on that one. If I... Give people the opportunity to redeem themselves, they're always going to disappoint me. So, I was disappointed with them. But I wasn't surprised, because... America. Where's the... It was this way, was it? It was in here. And there's a secret hole. Secret? Where are we going? Maybe if I actually read this tutorial, I will understand what I have to do. It is do, do, do. skills, weapons. Nope. Knights. Nope for that. Wait. That's used a terminal? I used that, didn't I? Ah. There we go. I didn't have everything I needed. Because I'm a dumb dumb. Is it open? <gasps> Secret. If they make Skyrim 6 code be great, yeah. It could also break it, but I think co-op games should be embraced more. Like, especially if you look at Baldur's Gate 3. You know, you can have an immersive single-player story and still be co-op. You don't have them both at the same time either. You know, the option is there. But for whatever reason, if you're a solo project, people seem to stick to being solo. Although Outward uh, did a good job, I felt, of making... 
bit cooperative. Ooh. Ooh. How long do you think they'll keep updating Fallout 76? I think Fallout 76 is probably a little cash cow to them, which makes them like a nice amount of money for the little amount of players that it has. So I don't think they're going to get rid of it anytime soon. Because there's nothing else to replace it. Yeah, I opened it. We're going outside. They can't think of new stuff. Yeah. That's why they do dragon shouts, right? Are we, are we going? Good. You're leaving. I guess you were trying to help me, but you... You didn't have to kill him! Uh, 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 uh. He deserves to die. Oh, really? And who appointed you judge, jury, and executioner? I know he wasn't perfect, but he was my father. I thought you were my friend. He was the only family I had left. I thought you, of all people, would have understood that. You'd better get out of here before I change my mind and call the guards. Stop in the name of the Oh! Oh! Yeah. You bitch! That's it, that's it. me in. Alright. Oh, yeah, just, let's just be blood. rational about this. Wait, is she gonna try to shoot me? Oh, attack me? Is she friendly? I don't think she's friendly, is she? I made a powerful enemy today. Is she coming to attack me? Oh, fuck it. Killed everyone. Everyone dies! Everyone is equal, so you must die. Oh. It was God's will. Oh, she's not dead. Hi. I'm waiting to make sure you leave. Oh, okay, well I just shot you with a gun, so. Never mind! Sorry, I just catch up with chat still. Uh was it confirmed where the Elder Scrolls 6 takes place? Yeah, I think Hammerfell was what people thought because of the way it looked. I don't think it's been confirmed, but you only had the one trailer, but that's what everyone seems to think. Um oh hang on. I should have saved before going outside. Oh, too late. Too late. If they make sky uh, uh, I think with Starfield they did have to come up with a new law which when accounted for in development time would be a while. The other scroll six on the other hand had already has the world building. It does and it doesn't because I think if you just put in you can't use some of the old law to make sense. They have to kind of come up with their own new stuff for the game. Because no one wants to just play like a remastered version of like Cyan Chaos if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making any sense right now. But I think they're going to have to give something more innovative to it. And especially because Starfield was such a flop. Now the pressure's on them to make it better than Starfield. And then some. I think if Starfield fixed out the compiling minor issues, it could be fun. Mm, I think they've got... The thing is with Starfield, they messed up by giving you a thousand planets to explore. Total waste of time. The space travel was so bad that it was pointless on a spaceship. And the story just wasn't strong enough. It was a weak story. Which is sad because... They had all that time, but, you know. TV series is good, though. 100%. Anyone wondering? TV series? Fallout TV series? Good. I don't think it's, um... Oh. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, sweet nostalgia. Okay, so first thing to do is go, up, go and blow up Bomb Town. I mean, no, I won't. Scenic overlook. I agree. Welcome to level two. Uh, so my medicine's quite high. I think small guns could be good. Uh, I probably want to put some into speech. I think speech and bar will be useful. Let's get 20 on speech. 20 on bar. Then we'll we'll go from there. Ooh. Just like dear old dad, you've dev devoted your time to intelligent pursuit. You gain an additional five points to both the science and medicine skills. 
I can't remember the best way to do this because there's ones which will give you more XP, which are worth having at the start and not at the end. But they also just, in the end, take up a spot for no reason. So I always try and go for something which is going to be like longer lasting. But you see, it, like uh, with every rank, you gain five points of melee weapon skill and five points of explosive skill, which is good. Well, not doing melee, but yeah, in theory, that could work out in the end. 10% damage against female opponents outside of combat. You'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the opposite sex. Interesting. With the intense strain you can put a single point into any of your... So that's always a good one. But you're obsessed with using and maintaining a wide variety of conventional firearms. With each rank of the gun that perk you gain, there's your five points to small guns. We'll do that one for now. We might regret it, but... This is going to be like a limit, you know? It's still a good, like, honestly, look at that view. So much to explore. Uh, I forget what it was. Why to jump? Crazy. A robot is stuck to the mouth of the carrying train. Oh, yeah. So, I think this is the DLC, isn't it? Additional DLC. Into the pit. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Let the DLC load. Look at it, it's beautiful. This is what I imagine like Detroit to look like. Or San Francisco. New Radio because yeah yeah, okay, 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 okay. Any more? Any more? Okay, yep. Level cap race to fight. It was a very low level cap to be fair. Alright, anything else? Anything else needs loading in? No? I found out the four. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool, cool. Anything else? Any other DLC? Any other stuff that needs to load? We'll get there eventually. I should redo that. That that's the that's the picture there. Like, eh, eh, eh. Toast oven explores Fallout. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're late, I think. Let's go. Go to town. So, which way is Washington? Uh, the capital city's there. First for the super mutants, and they're going to absolutely kill me. Then you have... If you go to the outskirts, you have death claws. Um, I don't think which way to go. Everyone always just goes to the bomb town first, don't they? It's like, you, you, just a thing to do. Go investigate. I like Fallout 76, but Fallout 3 just, I don't know, tickles me. It's just, it calls to me. I do want to finish my playthrough of New Vegas. But sometimes you've got to give into nostalgia. It's been Oblivion and Fallout recently. And plus, these games are so cheap. They're so cheap on Steam. And some people haven't even played them. I find that crazy. Imagine, like, being, like, alive today and you've not played Oblivion. Like, crazy. Morrowind, to be fair, I've already played a little bit. I should probably give that a good go. I refuse to go any further back, though. I don't want to play Daggerfall. Hmm. A giant ant. Megaton, let's go. Well, I'm free in New Vegas are excellent. Damn. Yeah. You're from that vault, vault 101. <laughs> I Why, how do you do? Jumpsuits in a long time. Names Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too. When I said this is the best photo. I don't know why, but I how's it going, Rose? Boy. What's going to be your next video? You're all right. Where's the content, so Rose? Where's Megaton. the content? Just holler if you need something. Uh, I'm gonna say nothing. I'm gonna be the silent protagonist. The quiet type, huh? Fine. Might help keep you out of trouble. I hope you're not a weirdo. Got enough of those already.
Fallout London maybe. You think that's uh, for soon? I think Fallout London can go either way. I think because it is like a, a fan project, it'll be done either really well or really badly. But from what I've seen so far, it looks good. So I have high hopes. Just think like about all the Skyrim um, mods, where like the Beyond Skyrim mods, they've always been well done, to be fair. But they've never really been. What's the. I remember playing like a Clockwork. It wasn't a Clockwork C, but it was some drama sort of mod for Skyrim, and it's pretty decent. And that was a fan one. But yeah. That's just normal London. Too right. <laughs> I've already got 76. Um. I'm glad we understand each other. Now I played it is there something I a lot last year. Even done a video. Go check my video, guys. Uh I have to go now. Carry on. Staying out of trouble, I hope. Don't want to have to waste good. Okay, we just we just, we just spoke. We I have to go now. Have a good one. I have to go return some video tapes. I get it. You want me to talk to him, but I don't want to talk to him. Hello. Gonna make it more awkward and blow this place up. Look at that, look at this. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear Love it. the thunder of his voice. Let You've been on a quest for better audio? What's wrong with your audio? Are you a weirdo? So man, he did ask. I mean what what's what's weird? What what do you think weird means? Weird could mean anything. Uh, Fallout Frontier was the ship. Bless it. Yeah, um, I remember seeing someone play that and do a review. It looked really good actually. That had like um, different chapters to it as well, didn't it? It wasn't like open world. It was, if I remember right, it was like different chapters you went through, and that was kind of cool concept to it. Uh, just for the girl at the bar, come from her name. Come on, you piece of junk. Nova? Hey there. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Moriarty. Enough of the tough chick routine. Tell me more. Oh, you like it rough, huh? This is not the best one up, this like the answer. Before you Dead. dislike another sub, which one do you think else. is the best? Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, I Bob, did. it ain't the radio. I was going to do a video. Comes in fine. Was that you? No. Do you see where Makes sense like that. Come on. Hell of a day, isn't it? Bitty crew. Yeah, I was going to do a video about Fallout um, before the TV show kicked off. Like, Fallout so you can play which are better than 76. Um... But yeah, it's kind of like, I kind of missed the opportunity now. Maybe I'll come back to it. Because I want to play Fallout 1 and 2. And I know Fallout 2 has got a multiplayer mod. So you can actually play Fallout 2 multiplayer. Which I don't think a lot of people know. And that in itself is like, ooh, that could be a fun one to do. I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. Hi, Mr. Burke. And you, well... You are not a resident of this. What well, else? I don't think I'll play that one. And makes you a rather valuable individual. Megaton's a hidden rock to sniper rifle cache as well. Was that the bug though? Was that not supposed to be in the game? I can't remember if that was this one or not. Uh, Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I find myself in fraud. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. I'm listening. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very... Much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge constructed for a singular purpose. The detonation of that 
farm. I thought he was going to play for a 76. <gasps> then you'll get paid I might still play it. Handsomely. What do you I've still got my save on there and everything else, so it's not... Uh, we can try? Yeah, give me extra money. Is that the best you can do? Oh, okay. I'm afraid I'm not impressed. Uh. All right, I'll do it. Excellent. I had a feeling about you. Here's the fusion pulse charge. It needs to be installed. So the trick is of any of these like games. Always Every say you get to do it, and then don't do it. Ten penny tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. Because the minute you say you're not going to do it, you cut off any chance of like exploring the dialogue as much as possible. Uh, it's time for me to go. Oh wait, why can't we warn them? Absolutely not. The place, the people, they're one and the same. Sacrifices for a nobler future. I assure you, they're worth ten times as much in death as they are in life. Time for me to go. Don't let me keep you. Traveler, eh? I like the fact he's just sat here. We had that like loud conversation, and no one even heard us. I'll say for free is way better mods. Mr. Burke is always easier to talk to when he's got some massive boober on him. I've never really done too many mods with Fallout. I kind of left it kind of vanilla. I did want to try stuff the Fallout 4 mods because they make the settlers more interesting. I think there's like a Sims mod you can get for it where like the settlers actually become um, like a little mini game in itself where you got to make sure you have enough food and stuff. I like that idea. I think that's kind of cool. But yeah, I just... I tend to like leaving vanilla. Skyrim's the only one I've like modded, and even then, not heavily, because you put too many mods, it just breaks. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Oh, thanks. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply, but what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the forward. She would talk me about. I have seen that. Help me out, would you? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, sure. Okay. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. So I like playing Skyrim with um the survival mod, and I like playing on Legendary, but I find with Fallout, if you play it on too hard a setting. It's just too hard. <laughs> like, um, it's like the save rule, isn't it? Like, you can only save at a bed, so there's no quick save. Like, if you do survive on Fallout 4, I think. I'm not sure if it's the same on these ones. And it's just painfully hard. Like, difficult to the point of it makes you want to pull your hair out. Where Skyrim, because you can still quick save and stuff, you just kind of save scum it. But maybe that's me being a little bitch. I don't know. Uh,. I was sent as an ambassador from Utopia. I mean, what do I want to do? I was... It was paradise down there. No fear, no worries, no fighting until Dad left. Ah. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before. But none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact... Want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Okay. Uh, what's up, pay? Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Sure. Tell me more. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. That sounds like a pretty For idea. that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Sounds like a great idea. I can't wait to help. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. 
Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Um, radiation. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Okay, I'll get a rage air. Just be ready to fix me up when I get back. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if just make sure you can get back. Okay. Let's go. Uh, wait. I just want to sell stuff. Can you repair my equipment? You got caps? Uh, I'm not even wearing any of these. I can't. Can I afford these? I don't think I can, no. Wait. Can I sell stuff? Uh, do you sell any special items? Yes. Do I ever. I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launch. Don't worry about Where's the trade thing? Let me see if so. There we go. Alright, so first up, let's get rid of some shite. Um, I don't really need the BB gun. I think I can sell that. I, I think I can sell that. And... Oh wait, no, did I just buy that? Oh, I strong button. No, no, wrong way. I need to do this side. I want to keep the baseball bat. And have the gloves. Did I get anything good? I don't know. I've got a few things. Please button, purified water, I'll keep sensor module, switch blades. I've got to keep the toast of me. Security armor's about 18. I might as well just like saw that. Who would do the security armor anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Science plus five. I'll keep all that just in case. Alright. Good hunting. Time to leave. See ya. Alright, let's go explore. Because I don't want to do the tutorial zone. I want to go to the hardest place on Fallout 3. And that is the capital. The White House. We're going there. It's good fun over there. What's happening? Well, so I think I'm going to run naked. Let me just put some clothes on. So this is security, security. From what I remember, there are enemies which like outscale you, but for the most part, most enemies should scale to your level. Unless I remember it completely wrong. So let's go see what the super mutants are up to. Uh, this way? Question mark. Hello. Please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. Hmm. Have this purified water. I don't want anything for it. I don't have any caps or anything. I can just have I can just have it for free. Yes, free water. I insist, my friend. It's the least I can do to help. My thank you. Thank you so much. You've saved my life. Bless you. From what I remember, if you help him, he comes back later. But I can't remember why he comes back later. But it doesn't matter. We are off on an adventure. So yeah, the Super Mutants have overrun the capital from what I remember. I'm trying to think... There's another quest I've done which I really liked. It's to do with a hotel. I can't remember what that is, though. Maybe we'll come across it. But I've, I think I used to just, like, walk around the outskirts of Fallout 3 a lot and try and find all the hidden places. You know, this was before, like, all the guides and stuff come out. Right, oh, God! Jesus, fuck. Let's get the shit out of me. What is that? Like a gorilla monkey. Was it a dog? Doggo? Hello? That was a mole rat. I feel like I should recognize that a bit more. Bye! Uh oh. He's coming right for us! What's my baseball bat? Oh, you fucker. The irony that doesn't want to do unarmed, but here I am, like, smashing the shit out of things, melee-wise. 
I forgot it all. Yeah, that's what happens with old games. You just like forget how to play them. It's kind of nice. What's up, ya bell and how's it going, Rage? How are you? You you been playing ESO with Epic? I hear you rarely do that now. <laughs> Imagine playing the Elder Scrolls online. Where's the hotel? I'm trying to remember where it is. I feel like it's on like the outskirts. There's a hidden bunker somewhere as well. There's loads of shit I remember, but it's just like I don't know. I don't quite remember the layout of the land just yet. Do you also have like the mines that you have the little lamp mine? The children in the mine got pretty dark backstory. Kind of funny though. But Washington, look at it, it's glorious. I do. Oh, all kicking off. I'm a... Nah, not ma'am yet. I can't remember where you go to meet them. I heard someone complain about the Brotherhood of Steel in the TV series because they're saying like they're too Zadia, like too religious. But from what I understood, they've always been religious. Just obviously in a weird old. Well, not. Maybe it's just not that obvious. I don't know. Those monsters. They're, they're gonna get me. Hmm. Those what? What's the matter? Those things. They keep coming. This feels like a trap. Me. Make it stop. No, don't play yourself with that guy who ganks me while playing Zergs. How dare you. I'm a big tough guy. I'll take care of this. You look stronger than all the other grown-ups. Can you... Can you protect me? Sure. I'd like to help, but I need to know more first. Those... Big things. They're all over Great Itch, And they killed everyone. Okay. Please, mister. Please find my papa. Oh my god, you see what they're doing there? They're taking my main story and making it his main story. You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign in the old diner. Please. Find my papa and make him come back. Maybe just went to get milk. Uh, my speech is really bad. You think I didn't know that? I've been hiding in this place for days. There's an old porter shelter next to the diner near my house. Those stupid things will never get me in there. I'll head over there and wait. Oh, you got some eyeliner. Back. It's a young Johnny Depp. All right, map marker added. Uh, no. Is there another way to access your map? Like, I hate going to like this thing and looking. Uh, well, map. So if I'm here. He's saying, go there, just go right, okay. So just follow him, makes sense to just follow him maybe. How are you Stabs, how's it going? I heard you went to a hospital, I hope you're not dead. Ooh, I hear him. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, there's an ant. Alright, I got this pussy. Oh, oh, it's a literal fire ant. Oh, no. I don't know what I thought would happen there, but not that. Sounds like we're going to run out of ammo pretty fast. That was another one. Oh. Take that. What is the best fallout tower? Um, fallout Shelter. Fallout Shelter is by far the best one. I actually don't mind Fallout Shelter because um, I completed it without paying money. And that made me feel good. Now He's in here. TV dinner feels like. Okay, so I've got to find his dad. Papa? Ooh. Free drinks. It's not the cool answer, but Fallout 4. Fallout 4 might be better because you can mod it, but I don't think it's the best one. Fallout 3 for me is like my favourite. But well, maybe after this playthrough, I will not enjoy it. You know me, I'm a nostalgia whore. 
Some people farm rage, I farm nostalgia. I'm just here trying to find old games. People go, oh, I remember that. And then I'll be like, yeah, like and subscribe. I've got you now. It's easy views. Uh, I need lockpicking skills. I need to get lockpicking up, actually. Then back entrance. Nope. Nope. You have pneumonia. I got TB beating a man to death. Oh, no. I hope you're okay, Arthur. You can't have TB. Vikings got TB. You actually got pneumonia. That's pretty bad. Um, if you do have pneumonia, 100% get well soon. If you don't have pneumonia, fuck you for lying. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, pneumonia is a pretty serious one. Take it easy. Don't overwork on that shit. She's going to say psych and then it's fine. Hey, I don't get farmed. I mean... I had to... Like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I could have easily streamed Oblivion again today and come up with another Elder Scrolls title and people would have clicked on me like, God damn it, there's not Elder Scrolls online. But I thought I'd um, mix up a bit and give Fallout. So... No one can say they've been bamboozled today. No bamboozling here. God, how many ants are there? Hey, I've gone the wrong way anyway. I need to go find the house. Oh, it's back here, ain't it? Yeah, it's not the real deal, pneumonia. Okay. Jeremy Clarkson's had pneumonia like twice, but it's sort of one of those things you've got to be careful about because if you get it too badly, you can do some serious damage to your lungs, which is irreparable. So, just take it easy. I don't know. Stop smoking, maybe. I don't know if you smoke. Or if you do, if you don't smoke, smoke more. Yeah, seven system is really going to fall out for. There's no doubt about that. And once it's modded, you can make it even more amazing. Uh, I had pneumonia a couple of weeks ago. I had to be intubated, and it caused the pneumonia. I wasn't hospitalized for it though. Damn, man. What's going on in America? You sound like a <laughs> the Midwest. It's the 1800s, and I just got back from a cattle ranch, and I have pneumonia. I've gone the wrong way again. No, could I go this way? Go this way. I'm just holding the marker. I'm actually holding the marker. I wouldn't mind playing Sammy Six again. Maybe we can get like a squad on. Maybe if I arrange like a, um, a day for it. So, the problem is my schedule is going to get a bit hectic over the next couple of weeks. Um, I've got, like I said, I've got to do a video basically next couple of days for Thursday. Which will be fine. It's only like a reaction deep dive sort of thing. And then after that, I've got the sponsor deal I've got to do. Uh, which I'm looking forward to. But I want to like, put like 100 hours in if possible. Which means I'm not going to really have time to play anything else. But I might be able to get some free CD keys to give away for this game that I'm playing. And I think it'll be worth playing. Oh, when we're going, I've gone the wrong way. I've done the wrong quest. I've walked... No! I had the wrong quest up. <sighs> Try that again. This is why it's important to change your marker. The doge on a quest to find his dad. The dad -oge. It works. It works. He's just gone to get milk. You download it right now. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. We did have a group play it. Like, Viking even played it. Maybe if you get Viking to, like, watch the TV show, she might actually play the game. I don't know. The hospital gave me the pneumonia. I have a genetic condition where sometimes I end up being in intubated. So it happens three times in my life, but it sucks. Damn. Well, as long as you're okay now, that's the main thing. Well, I think that's uh, that's the problem when you have like stuff like that. You know, I don't want to say the name so it get instantly demonetized, but there's a certain flu which people obviously were worried about. But I think the main problem is with that. It's like anyone with other issues, they might end up with complications. Uh, a friend of mine had like an uh, immune disease, so he has to like basically make sure not to go outside, otherwise he risks dying. Very, very good fun. But then he was like, it was a complete slag anyway. He was on Tinder all the time, going around raw dogging bitches. And I was just like, mate, what are you doing? 
<laughs> you might not get that disease, but you might get some other sort of disease. Nice guy, though. Uh, oh. Shack key. Okay. That's what we needed. That wasn't, that wasn't the dad, was it? I think that's the dad. I think the kid's now alone, isn't he? Son, your father is dead. Am I correct? Yes. Oh, hang on. Some, I think there's cedar guns on here. So blind. So lead blue. It was good for a bit, but the end game was just lacking. That's what I said earlier. Also, anyone who's watching the VOD, and I've repeated myself five times, please comment below. Just let me know. Let me know how much I repeat myself, and how annoying it is, and if I should stop. But I ain't ever gonna stop. Uh, I think we're good. Oh. Name. Should I sleep? Should I sleep? I'll sleep for an hour. What a good nap in this burning house. That's totally okay. I think you have a torch. Yeah, it's on your pit boy. I'm just, I'm just a lazy boy. I don't, I don't click it. Uh, let me go. I can't remember if it's this one. You can customize the color of your pit boy. It might be full. Fallout 4. Uh, weapons. So, let's put this on the hotkey. We'll get rid of the BB gun. We're just not going to use that. But why has he got a Chinese assault rifle? Is he some commie spy? You know what I mean? Questions need to be answered. We're going to go into the shack. Wow, look at this place. Alright. All right. Take some cleaning stuff. She might be down for playing too. Yeah, exactly. I like how they just jumped to 10 mm in this game. What do you mean? Just jumped. What's going on here? Is he a Chinese spy? Oh, I can't I can't even tell you. He's a Chinese spy, I'm telling you now. Maybe. Oh, was he doing something to the fire ants? I can't remember. I'm trying to remember the story, and I'm having a hard time. There's something, there's something that's going on which isn't as it seems. Your dad's dead. Uh, yeah, I just got Just rip the band aid off. Your dad's dead. Oh no. What happened? Your voice is lovely. Thank you. I've, I've worked really hard all my life to get this voice. It's taken years of smoking 20 a day. Um, maybe a bit too many whiskeys. And like sometimes I throw up just to make my voice sound rougher. But thank you. <laughs> I remember that in 4. Okay, what's 4 then? I thought it was 3. You should play free. Play free on New Vegas. They're good. Can you kill the kids in Fallout games? Uh, I can't remember. I don't think I've tried. I, I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, what's the best way to tell me your father is dead? Sorry, kid. Your old man is ant food. You, you know what you are. You're a big asshole. That's right, an asshole. My papa said never to say that word, but you deserve it. Now what am I going to do? My papa's dead. Poor papa. Papa, can you hear me? Um. I do like the decisions in this game, though. Okay, I'll I'll stop whatever started this. You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago, and then maybe <laughs> my dad would still be alive. Hold Thanks up. For doing all that. In Fallout One and Two, you I'm even got classified as a child murderer, and you have a bounty hunter hunting you. That's crazy. Three was amazing when modded to hell back in the day. The music Explore Seven should be the theme tune for all Fallout's. Uh, come from console games. Compete in a day or two for like just did sign good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they kind of just made RPGs 
like a good RPG in the day used to be like 20 hours long unless you play something like Final Fantasy 7 in which case you, know, you could sink hours and hours into it but that's a different sort of RPG I guess but yeah the whole like first person perspective RPG I gotta give it to Bethesda they did a great job of it and then they made Starfield so now we hate them Throw up voice is hot. The low key underrated as fuck. Time to try. Where you go? Oh, you want me to kill the child? Maybe. <laughs> what happened here? It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to DC. There were seven of us living there in tall. It's an experiment, isn't houses. it? This is an experiment. It's an Even experiment. The last one left. Those things took everyone else. Uh, do you know the others in town very well? Nah. People don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The DC ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. In fact, Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. <laughs> this and Oblivion have caused a nostalgia overload. I learned a kid cussing you out is peak streaming. Yeah. Yeah, it just reminds me of playing any Call of Duty game. Or... Any game online, really. So... Yeah... Let me ask you something. All right. What is it? Uh, is it a vault that's causing it? I can't remember. I have to go now. I'm gonna leave you. Please be careful. I don't want you to die either. So, so. Neat. Help! <laughs> Help! Come back here, little shit. Wait, maybe I'll maybe use his dad's gun on him. <laughs> I can't even bat him. Alright, to answer your question, no, you cannot kill kids. <laughs> if this stream gets demonetized, it's your guys' fault. Alright, I just want you to know that. You guys, you guys are the problem, not the solution. Uh, I feel like it's a vault. I can't remember which building it is, though. I feel like it should be an obvious choice. Maybe it's in the town center. I don't know. Anyway. Let's go on an adventure. The, the, the man with suit. Spoiler alert. Is it him? He, is he the arsehole? Who is he? What's his motive? Is he from vault Tech? Ah, you little fucking shitbag. Got him. Got him. Here comes the bad <laughs> I had to, like, so I played, um, Mordhau on stream, and they basically said it wasn't suitable for all ads. Um, which is funny because my, you know, my video which got more views was not well it's just as bad but that didn't get demonetized so i don't understand youtube sometimes it's dumb i even requested an appeal and they were like nah dark age of camelot actually got me uh copyright claimed like the title theme and then some classical music i used so what i did for the classical music i said i was the one who composed them no don't say i composed it. i said i played it and they like said okay that's fine but i'm still waiting on the title theme good old sony Copywriting a title theme to a game. That's 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 not shitty. That's some Nintendo stuff there. I'm fast run out of bullets. Oh my god. Wait, why am I aiming for the head, dum dum? I thought I don't know and leave it there was a good answer. I mean, it was an answer, but we needed to know. Why are they all coming for me? I, what did I do? Can I just run past them? I've decided to run. No. Need more bullets. I can't waste more bullets on these stupid ants. So many of them. That's not, it wasn't even EA though, it was Sony. Um, was it Sony? I can't remember. Alright, let's go to the metro. Nothing bad is down here. Uh, please find some bullets. Ah. 
They're all shit bags, man. I need to be fire resistant. Wait. Okay. I probably want to put the Nuka Cola on my bar. Because I feel like I'm going to die quickly otherwise. Let's hot bar that to. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. That didn't give me that much back. Stim pack it is. But I did enjoy Dark Age coming up, but after, like, putting the video out, people were like, oh, you need to play on the Eden server. Apparently the Eden server is quite populated, which makes me think I've just done a video on... Like, I've, I've half-assed the video because I could have went Eden and maybe got some PvP. So maybe, maybe I have to go back to Dark Age of Camelot at some point. I don't know. Would it be worth it? I'm not sure. I think my video is good in the sense of like, it covers off, like... He doesn't even see me. You dumb idiot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's not bothered by this at all. I'm just angering him. I have crippled his head apparently. Okay, okay. I've seen some ammo over there. Let's go. Well, I found nothing on the official set. Um, I found literally no one on the official server. No PvP whatsoever. But yeah, from what I heard, Eden's like, that pop player like, could get some PvP out of it, which I think would have been pretty good, to be fair. It would have been nice to have it in the video, rather than using someone else's clip for PvP. Scar. I'm starting to think I need to put melee up. Uh, lock picking... I can't remember what the hard caps are, so we'll do 30 for lock picking. Mini small guns. Do you want speech? Maybe a bit, a bit more speech. Yeah. What else we got? Gun nut two. You're obsessed with using and maintaining wide variety of conventional firearms. With each rank of gun nut pack, you gain additional five points to small guns and repair skills. Is it worth doing intense training? With each rank in the swift learner perk, you gain additional 10% to total experience points. See, that one's not worth doing. This one's not worth it. Good for early game, bad later on. I think I'd do that one. Do Daddy's Boy. It was a good video. I was surprised when I logged into the Steam. Change type G, didn't have all the race class and choice. Type. Yeah, so that's the, um, the sub that they got on there, though. That wasn't like... I didn't even realise that when I first initially started the game. It wasn't until I went back and had a look. I was like, oh, sh I'm missing a load of stuff. Typical, really. I mean, they have to make money on the game, but my my point still stands. Like, I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing when they have... Um, yeah, I know how to do this. Thank you. I've played... I've played... Oh. Shit. Sign. This is fine, this is fine. Got it, easy peasy. So when an old game charges you quite a lot of money, but then it's like, well, I guess people still want to play the old game. But then when they, the Eden server is obviously a private project, it's, uh, I don't know. If you think about like Star Wars Galaxies, right? No one charges money on them, um, but they take donations, which is fair enough. And you've got like City of Heroes where there's donations, but then now they've got a license, so how would it work? It's it's a grey area. Because technically the private servers shouldn't exist. So... Oh. Oh. Take that, little ant. But I still maybe think what we could do is get everyone together and do like a Dark Age of Camelot night. Just get like everyone from the community to jump on at the same time. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! 
I'm on fire! This motherfucker. Uh, that's fine. I think a lot of people from Eden saw it. Um, they'll naturally come across. I mean, I wasn't too critical of the game, to be fair. It's like, there's no point being like, oh my god, the graphics are dated. It's like, yeah, well, it's 20 years old, what do you expect? And it's even like the fetch quests and stuff. It's like, well, was the first one to do fetch quests? Because they were like, what well, the first proper MMOs. So, it was nothing really to heavily criticize it other than the fact that Camelot Unchained, I guess. Hate album of a passion to this day. But the faction or the game? <laughs> oh. Which way do we go? Where's the church? Oh, I should probably put a lamp on. Oh. Hello! He doesn't see me. How much ammo have I got? So what? Like, no ammo. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, look at this damage. Yup, this would be easier if I had like a giant magnifying glass. Just just gonna say it. Magnifying glass, this fight will be over in seconds. Uh, I could just shoot him. Just shoot him. You commie bastard, take this. I don't want to waste so much time on that one. Oh, the faction. I mean, hating Albion, you, you basically hate me then, because I am from actually actually from Albion, you know? I am from Albion. You took a six month. That's like, I love the fact that they had such um, faction loyalty. Like, ESO used to be like that for me. Um, everyone was always like, on EP, EP till I die sort of thing, you know, Epilogue Pack, let's go. And then, someone on, Ed okay, so here's some Sawman lore for you guys who might not know this, but, so The Elder Scrolls Online, I used to play it before One Tamara, which meant you were basically stuck on whatever faction, um, unless you made like another character, and then like went on the opposite side, but not many people have done that. So for years, I just kept making uh, Elden Hard Ebon Heart packed characters, you know, it's very much EP. Then they open it up with one Tamara, which meant you can actually switch factions and you can even play the main campaign and like just switch over without having to like wait 30 days. So, what happened was a lot of people, if like a certain faction was losing, they might jump onto it to help out and stuff. And it still caused like a lot of arguments and stuff, and people obviously got annoyed and people kept the faction swapping. But I remained Ebon Heart pack, okay? And then. And then, out of nowhere. So I used to like, talk shit in zone chat at the time, because, you know, I'm immature. Not I don't bad, just like, make make lols and funnies, which people don't find funny. A good, good reload, good reload. You're on fire, kid. So there I was. Making fun, and then there was this one guild who were very much devoted to the faction. You can only play with them if you're on the faction. So I think I asked to join their Zerg one day, and they were like, No, you're an Aldamarian spy. I was like, What? And I, I've seen you on AD, you, you, you've you uh, been swapping factions, blah blah blah. And it's like the most horseshit thing I've ever heard. And then all these other, like, people of my faction believe this guy they believe this one random fucking loser that I had been s swapping factions which I know it's a horrible thing to do but I hadn't I literally hadn't so he made me do something which I thought I'd never do I switched factions made a ganker and then made it my job to go find him and gank him as much as times as possible because of his stupid little lies and I did that and it was good and I carried on doing that I went and I wronged all my all the people who wronged me saying I was a e Ebonheart Pat traitor I went and I ganked them and I enjoyed it and I teabagged them 
And that's basically where, like, my uh, tea bagging came from, and my ganking. I did it for revenge, which is the best reason to do anything. So, yeah. I, I kind of have a dark past. I'm not proud of it, but it also made me the person I am today. If you wrong me, I will hurt you. I will find you, and I will hit you in the back when you're not looking. Oh, you fucking... Ads! Ads everywhere! But yeah, that's, that's a bit of Saw Man lore for you. Hope you guys appreciate that. And some of you are probably been wondering, like, what the fuck am I on about? I've come here to watch you play Fallout. What, what is this shit about ESO? What is this? And I wonder... Probably not. But yeah, I, like I said, I do like the idea of faction loyalty. Because I wouldn't have that story if it wasn't for faction loyalty. And I think... Um, not enough MMOs do that these days. They need to, like... I think WoW kind of has it, but there's, I say, two factions to choose from. I think when you have, like, more than one, it does cause, a, like, conflict, which is great. All good games need, like, conflict. And all good PvP games need conflict. And I feel like that's what's lacking. That's why I like more Online 2, because it's got, like, all these different guilds on there, and naturally the politics involved of it is brilliant. Everyone just, like... Get along, not get along, starting wars. Ooh. Employee only. I'm an employee. Oh, hello. Well, you startled me. You startled really me. You mustn't creep up on people like that. Hmm. I don't expect to jump... I don't expect to bump into anyone alive down here. That is precisely why this is the ideal place for my work. He's the, it's his fault, there's ants. you realize you're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive it's experimentation his fault. area? It also makes you get along with people whether you like them or not because you need their help just to even hit level 50. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Totally. Because when you do work with other people in MMOs, you naturally will become their friends, which is why ESO used to be good before one Tamriel. After that, people just kind of... Um, the leveling cap just ruined it for me. By removing the leveling cap, you kind of remove people going through the same problems as you. When you got like... Um, it's like, okay, so Guild Wars 2 does it really well with the scaling on the levels. I think that really helps, but it's a strange one. My I think MMOs just need to change. Complex nature and would take a scientist Which is why Ash the Creation like, really appeals like, to me, because it's trying to do something different. How marvelous. You are a scientist. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I you know, yes, that's the NPC, that's fine. Reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Oh, I see. You're trying to make them smaller over time by ejecting the eggs. My word, you understand perfectly. I do. Hi, I'm somewhat of a scientist myself. Ah, uh, what's gone wrong? Well. I'm afraid I've made slight miscalculations in the mutagen. Instead of lowering their size, oh no, here we go. Hatched with a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but but I can't get near my equipment. I'm shocked you didn't attempt this in a controlled environment first. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. Indeed, I have basic science. step and directly modified an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. I can't play a sneaky ganker in every game I play. I, I, do you know, even Skyrim, I don't even play um, bow sneak build because I feel that's cringe. It's just in games which involve PvP where there's actual competition, I hide in the shadows and kill people because I'm a coward. In RPGs, I'm, I'm like, you know, guns blazing. What can I do to help? Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Okay. The Queen's your concern, why not deal with it directly? If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. Okay. This will stop the fire ants. 
No, it should all wrap up rather nicely. I've rigged my equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. Okay. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? Sure, sure. If I stop the ants from burning down Greyditch, I'm in. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Also, Dr. Doggo is a character in the KFC Dayton game. Don't ask me why I know that. Uh, okay, I have to go now. Finally, a chance to recap. Accidentally shoots him in the face. Has he got anything good in here? I'm just going to take that. I don't think it matters. I'm just going to take it anyway. I can always sell it. Ooh, pistol. Take some cram. It's funny, you can't take the fan, but in Fallout 4, they're like the most precious of items. I need your ammunition. Thank you. I'm up to 38 bullets. Let's go. Metro ticket. Don't know what that's used for. I'm sure it can get me into somewhere. Of course, you gave me the stim packs. More ammo. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? A little loot goblin. Oh, it's another pistol. Ooh. My pistol's still in a good condition, right? Should still be okay. Double check. I mean, yeah, it's still the same damage. Do I get any other weapons? I've got a laser pistol, but. Got a hot kit from now. I'm going to danger. Sledgehammer? Is that going to be better than my baseball bat? Baseball bat's saying. Uh, damage 7. Yeah, all right. We're moving up in the world. Best save. If you tried DSC once again and played Ranger or Nightshade Hibernia, you'd poop your pants with glee. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Oh, magic door. I'm trying to think what MMO I'm going to help next. There's a few out there. I was going to do Final Fantasy XIV, but I think the new DLC is coming out already, so I might just leave that for a bit. When a new DLC drops, it just gets like flooded with other people doing content, and it's just, I don't know. Takes away the fun of it when everyone else is doing the same content as me. I like to be a wild child and do things by myself and be totally hipster. This is doing no damage. I'm sorry! Jesus, this guy. Oh, I keep pushing L. Is Did they change controls? Am I just being stupid? Where's his head? I want to hit his head. I think I'm missing every shot. I think this guy's going to kill me. I will outmaneuver him. Oh. This will make my life easier. Okay. I am down to not much, am I? Eve Online? Even lines with a slow one day. Um, I, I mean, I could probably play it whilst at work. Just have it on the background whilst I actually do my living. Um, I don't know. Even lines a strange one. I don't want to do too many space stuff either because then you kind of become one of those space people. I want to be able to do like RPGs and shit still. So I did like Star Wars. Did Star Citizen the Raid this year. Um, just trying to spread it out a bit. I could have easily done Eve after like Star Citizen. Or Star Wars, but I don't, I don't know. Stop it, you stupid ant. My god. I'm not damaged me. I got four bullets. Oh my god. Lasers. Laser. Are they immune to lasers? Or oh, just a bad shot. This might kill him.
Flame Ant Supremacy. Warhammer Online or Rift still out there? Yeah, Warhammer Online is free to play, I believe. It might even be with um, Broad... No, it's not Broadsword. Is it Broadsword? I think it's a... I think it's a broadsword. I think Warhammer Online. No, D and D Online is with uh, broadsword. I don't know about Warhammer, but you can play it. I think there's private servers. Mitch Mannix did a review of it um, last year. So it is possible. <gasps> the frag mines. Let's go. So I could potentially do that. You little fucking shit. Go. Oh, push wrong button. Come on. I thought I'd do more damage. Ah! Fire ants! They're so literal. Are they fighting each other? Why are they fighting each other? What have I done? Are they confused? Is this the game based off that new TV series? Super cool. Oh, uh, I bet you've never played Fallout before, have you, Nice? You seriously need to get some Bethesda games in you other than Elder Scrolls Online. It's kind of saddening. Play Starfield or something. Come on, man. I think Rift is still going. You've got... I don't know if Blessed is still going. Hey. Come on, Mr. Ant. Ouch. Got him in the head of a sledgehammer. Come here, you little shit. I'm gonna murder you and your family. Oh, he's he's just run around in a circle, there's nothing he can do. The superior style of combat. Best fallout by far. I don't know about Fallout 1 and 2, so I don't know about by far. I'm sure people... Why is there a robot down here? Just quickly save. Uh, what was I supposed to think in the Guardians? I can't remember if I'm supposed to do anything to her. This is going to be a choice here, isn't it? Like, oh no. Oh. Oh, no. I made a mistake! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Okay, hang on. Let's get the frag lines. Keep pushing the wrong button. I don't know why I keep pushing that. I keep... Oh, I know. I keep pushing RB to go throw a grenade. But they've changed it, obviously, in this one. So it's like... Well, they didn't change this one. They changed it further down. RB used to, like, throw stuff. In the later ones. That muscle memory's kicking in, like, hard. I think 76 they have it, don't they? Like, you can assign something to your throw. All five deaths guys in the end. Actually, return to Doctor. Do I want to? Do I just kill her? Is she going to be a bitch to me? I feel like there's something in here that I need. I, yeah, I don't think my melee is that strong, which is the issue. Uh, Rift is MO that released with absolutely zero bugs, a great combat system, all the stuff that screams this will be a good game, but it still died. How, how old is Rift? You haven't? You're a loser. Bless, com Bless was the uh, waifu one as well, wasn't it? Why would you say the green option? Yeah, but what's the option if I do save her and don't save her? You know? The series Dark Humor is spot on. You talked about TV series. Eh. Just, uh, don't mind me. Robot, help me! I'm sorry. Voice signature not recognized. Okay, I, I, I don't think there's anything here for me. Let's go back to talk to the doctor. We'll, we'll go do the optional quest. Optional means you get better rewards, right? Right? Rift is like, what, 15 years old? Yeah, but in terms of like the MMOs I've been reviewing lately, that's kind of new. That's that's pretty new for me. 
I mean, how old's Fallout 3? <laughs> Oblivion's 18 years old. Um, Dark Age of Camelot was 23 years old. Star Wars The Old Republic was 2011, so it's 13 years old. I've been playing a lot of like old MMOs. But then, you know, what's the... In the last five years, name a new MMO other than New World. What, what MMO got released in the last five years? I bet you... I don't even... I can't pick a one. They don't exist. I've detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Yeah, but... You think... When you when I say Bethesda, you think Zenimax. But I actually mean Bethesda Bethesda. Not shitty Zenimax. Oh, how marvellous. Please, tell me what happened. I've killed all the Nest Guardians. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. Thanks very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. He's gonna die, isn't he? Um, okay. What should I do about Brian Wilkes? You should take him away from this place. Find him a home. It would be difficult to accomplish my experiments with him scampering about and asking an interminable amount of questions. Okay. Can you take responsibility for his father's death? All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experiment to completion right, good answer. without I'll give you that one. on the moral high ground. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. Do we count Lost Ark though? Because, I mean, it got released in the West two years ago, right? But when was it out in the East? I feel like it's been around maybe a little bit longer. And in that sense as well, are we going to include every like Eastern MMI? Because they have like a new one every week. Uh... You should have someone in his life before he's alone. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. It's just an arsehole, this guy, I have no time for children and their petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? He's definitely on the spectrum. Don't you realize you ruined his entire life? You have your ideals and I have mine. I'm down here to complete my experiments at any cost. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations of lives in the future, it's a small price to pay. Nice guy. All right. Uh, let me ask you something yes. else. I'm ready for my mutagen by enhanced injection dot. What is this? I don't remember him saying about it. Should I just take it? How marvelous! Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant or ant might? Uh, I think my strengths are right. I probably want the perception. I feel like my perception could be better. Is he the kid's dad? No, the kid's dad was dead in the house. This is the scientist who causes dad to die, though. New World's two years old. Yeah, New World's like dead, though. We don't count New World anymore. Typical Fallout character. <laughs> Typical Bethesda character, let's be honest. Um... I want strength. If I get strength, I can carry more. I don't really need that much. Mm, all right, I'll go perception. Fuck it. How marvelous! And sight it is. Hold still, please. Hold him. Free upgrade. Let's go. Well, they show up in your radar more, and you get more points to actually do um, the bats. You've been required the perception and flame resistance. Oh, let's go. Your perception has increased by one and you are now 20 foot. Yeah, that was a good one. Might would have mean I've got more like carry strength and probably slightly more melee damage, potentially. I can't remember. It's been a while. We'll save, though. So. Which one is this? Fallout 3. Oh, uh, this is Fallout 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I have played New Vegas. I haven't completed it though. I know New Vegas is a very like popular one. But we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, so if you look at the radar, they should show up quicker. But come on, I wanna see you die to the Queen Mother. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. So new Okay, okay, okay. I say dead in the sense of 
it's got like 8,000 population or something stupid like that compared to where it used to average about 20,000 it's seriously falling off although I think if they did a console release it'd be alright but I think from a content perspective it's been pretty lackluster come on go get eaten by the ant hurry up so New Vegas is the yellow HUD Fallout 3 is the green one Fallout 4 I think is green as well isn't it I could be wrong. I think you can customize it for that for though. Come on, go get eaten by the ant. Wait on my life for this. This will be worth it. This will pay off. Well, New Vegas had um, Matthew Perry in it as well, didn't it? No, Matthew Perry? Yeah, Matthew Perry. He was, uh, what's his name? I can't remember the guy's name now. I didn't get that far in New Vegas. I got to um, the actual main strip gambled a lot of stuff but quest wise didn't really get that far probably should give another go i do know like a lot of like the fallout new vegas memes though not dead it's just a laughing stock oh yeah oh yeah i think but yeah console you watch combat's good no subs fine but Mounts being paywalled, stupid. Level cap being paywalled, stupid. I know people go, oh yes, but wow, and Final Fantasy Fourteen. But no, no, no. Modern MMOs shouldn't have level cap behind a paywall. And yeah, the PvP is just lacking. But then they they now say it's a PVE game, which is hilarious because it's a very bad PVE game if it is. Like no one plays New World for PVE. Like oh guys, let's go do a dungeon on PVE New World and because all the lore. So what happens here? Fuck off. Is he, what's, what's going on here? I don't need to say New World is dead because I think everyone knows it's dead. I said it was dead in my um, top five dead MMOs. Yeah, if you want something to react to, uh, look at that one, Rose. Okay, I don't think what I thought would happen is happening. Okay, we're just going to... We're just going to leave. I thought something else would happen, but Bethesda. I got bethesda pretty hard there. Can I kill her now? Uh, no, no, just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. Maybe something will happen later on. We'll just leave it. We'll go tell the kids he can leave the town now. All the ants are dead. His father's dead. The ants are dead. Everyone he loves is dead. All out, baby. Let's go. I played New Vegas on the hard difficulty. I did make it harder for myself. But I've kind of gone that way with um, games these days. I like to play them on the hardest end. Although I'm playing this on normal. I haven't actually changed it. Um, I kind of like the challenge. I feel like as well when streaming. It's kind of. I'm not saying it's boring to stream a game on normal difficulty. But it adds that extra bit of uh, spice to it when you up to the ante. You know. People like. People like to see people suffer. If they stuck to the original aim in New World, they would have actually had a stable population and still be... Yeah, I think they would have as well. I think Brimstone proved that there were still people waiting for it to like kind of come back from the brink. And then the new DLC didn't do that well, realistically. Hello, friend. I am not scared of you now. I have fire resistance. Okay, I'm crippled. I am disabled. Oh my god. This is the most powerful ant I've ever seen. No oh, way. Alright, we're gonna shoot in the face. Just bear with me one second. Just just hold still, hold still. Can you imagine if they had bats in the TV series? <laughs> just Just hold still while I shoot you. I don't even know how many stim packs I've got left. I need to be careful. Du, du, du. And a bunch of control mount previous definitely won't make new worlds an even bigger joke. 
No, but it'll be a huge cash injection. Like, there's probably a, a good population there, like 200,000. Ooh, what's up? I reckon there's about 200,000 people on console who would want a good MMO. Well, an MMO that isn't Black Desert or ESO. So for that reason, they'll, they're going to make some good sales. And then probably Game Pass, they'll have like a contract with them. You've got to think as well, with Throne and Liberty coming out, and it, it's a free-to-play game, technically, they need to get a... They, they, they need money. Amazon Studios needs money. And I know people are like, oh yeah, but they have Jeff Bezos, he'll just keep throwing money at it. End of the day, if a business isn't viable, as a businessman, you won't keep it going. I just think, like, Lost Ark's free-to-play, heavily monetized. Throne and Liberty's free-to-play, it's going to be heavily monetized. New World isn't free to play, and they need to make money from it. It's been a good experiment for them, but they they need to cash in. Uh, why is everything killing me? Come on. Hello, hello, little ant. Hello. I'm gonna shoot you in your stupid fucking head. The critical strike, at least. I am literally out of ammo. I've got 18. Laser! I need to find some ammo. I need to repair my weapons. Why can't I find his head? There he is. Oh, fuck. Get up! Get up! Get up! Am I, am I out of stim packs? I cannot be out of stim packs. I, am, I, am I out of stim packs? I'm out of stim packs. Shit. Alright, well. This is not a good day for me. I'm going to need to outmaneuver this thing. There's nothing in it. Oh, metal box. Alright, I've got the plunger. There are plenty of folks who still have fun in New World, but yeah, it fell off pretty steep. I think they're now just using it as a technological test for the server software. Yeah. Um, pretty cool. Drinker just reviewed Fallout TV show and said it was pretty good. I like his stuff. He's pretty honest, to be fair. Uh, throwing good money after bad is not good, and Amazon is not stupid. They're not going to throw cash down a money pit for no reason. And again, they need to port their engine to console for further... Yeah. Makes sense. I think their engine's pretty good. They've got a good game engine. That's why Star Citizen, you know, picked it up as well. But it's um Come on, little ants. Alright, run. Run away. But yeah, business wise, Jeff Bezos ain't stupid. He he buys these businesses to make money, and if it's not making money, it's like why why carry on? I think he is going to sell new up though. I generally think that. Being on fire isn't good. I hear it's a... Uh... Fuck. Run. Run. I got any food. I must eat food. Go find water. Well, that's fire resistance has been nice around about now. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here, or I need to find like a weapon cache soon. I thought he was gonna make the ants like docile. Oh, that's not a door. That's not a door. He's done nothing for me. Where's the exit? There, maybe. I can hear the little shitters. It's a soldier. It's no point. Like, I can't even like, do anything to him. Run! Run! Run, toaster! Damn, that was brutal. That was actually brutal in there. See, imagine that on the hardest difficulty. I'd have been dead, like, 20 times over. I made the right cho choice by being a pussy. Finally paying off. Uh, Alright. Let's go 
Speak to the small child. Let him know that the bad men have gone away now. Was this the same game engine as Oblivion? I don't think it was. I, I just honestly do feel like this looks better than Oblivion. I love Oblivion, but this is just like... Not bad, is it? Not bad at all. There's no run, is there? No, there's no run. Where can we go? Alright. Almost there. Do I get a good reward for this or not? I feel like I'm not going to get anything decent for all my hard effort. I did get the injection, I guess. Um, anyone out there? Hello? Open! Hello. It was so weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. I'm just glad you're safe. Uh, no. No, it's all me. I wish I had something to give you for all Ah, uh, here we go. It. But I never really had much to start with. Useless. I guess now you'll be on your way, and I'll have to try living here by myself. I hope you'll come back and visit someday. Uh, let me find your place to live. Really? You mean it? Oh boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Yes, go Just bury don't your forget about the me. dad. Yep, that's cool. <laughs> uh, any idea where I can look? Well, papa always told me about my cousin Vera. She lives in some big giant ship somewhere or something. All right, we'll go see her. Place, Rivet City. Rivet City. Ooh, what's in Rivet City? I wish I was tough like you. Good old Rivet City. I'm I'm having memories flood back of Rivet City, and there's I don't know. I get a funny feeling there's some important storyline plot there. Hmm. Maybe I should go there. Maybe I, I'll make that my mission before the end of the stream. Let's go to Rivet City. Let's have a look at the map. How far away is it? I swear to God, if it's too far. Maybe like 10 days ago, there. It's like River Sea, River Sea. Riverboat landing. Hour. It's on the. Well, oh, I mean. Is it down here? I feel like it's down here. Should we go up and around, maybe? Or the quest zone. Location. Well, you see, it's a nice castle to live in. Yeah, I mean, it's more than what some people have. Some people are just like, I'm grateful, you know? Alright, let's follow the river south. One of the few improvements 76 was the Pit Boy UI separating food and aid items and separating clothing. I think 76 is a lot right. I mean, I like the idea of having the grenades on RB. Um, Rather than having to actually have grenades be slotted separately. They've done some good stuff, 76. But yeah, honestly, if you've never tried 76, give it a go. I keep pushing RB to throw like a grenade, but it's actually bats, which is kind of annoying. A little bit annoying. I'm over it though. I'm not going to mention it ever again. Alright, Rivet C. Let's go. I think everyone will say Fallout 4 is the best anyway because it's got all the mods and stuff and you know people like people don't like old graphics on games Morrowind oh 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 I'm fast over now like people will say um, Morrowind isn't that great but you know, there'll be a whole generation of people who will swear it's the best game they've ever played well look at this we got us a wanderer all the way out here in Wilms Wharf you must got some important business out here to be wandering around. And to be but fair, it ain't none of my beeswax what you're doing. Morrowind probably you're had the best question. Maybe we can help each other. Uh, I'm interested in trying. Always need bullets. Takes damn near a hundred of them to kill a guai. 
You literally have nothing of use. I honestly hate you, and I would kill you if you actually had anything of interest. Y'all come back now, you hear? Yeah, that's it. Like, people instantly get put up by our graphics when realistically, people play RuneScape, you know? It's the gameplay loop that should be the most important. But people will always be, aren't, oh, not shiny, not UE5. But yeah, Morrowind had, like, the fact that you could literally kill any NPC and mess up your whole game. Some people like that, other people are dead against it because they like a bit more hand-holding. And that's fine, I get that. You don't want to, like, kill an NPC by mistake and then find out your whole game's ruined and you can't do a certain quest. But doesn't that give you the freedom of, like, an RPG? Isn't that what RPGs are supposed to be about? Your role, like, you know, you being a shitter could actually have a negative effect. Or a positive effect, in the sense that you can skip a whole quest, you know? Morrowind wasn't great, it was really fun. I wouldn't say it was... Mm, I haven't played enough to say it was great, but... I know there's a huge fan club for it. I mean, the Morrowind... Ah! 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 ah stop it! Bad man! I'm gonna take his soul. Come on. Oh, shit. Bats! Alright, what we're saying? Easy headshot. Easy headshot. And now I have some ammo. Fallout 3 is a horrible color scheme. I mean, they should, I assume, have like some, um, what's it called? The color filters you can get. You know what I mean? I can't remember what they call them. Some, I've had no sleep, and sleep means brain not working. No, that's not a guy. No, target. Wait, oh. What's going on with the bats? Why is my bats in the sky? Yeah, it's on the right person. Okay. Here we go, try again. I'm taking some death. Hey, Mazzy, how's it going, buddy? Raider head crippled. Oh. 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 Got him. Oh, I'm coming back to the guy in the pit, don't worry. I'm going around. This is better than what I've got on. Maybe. We'll take it anyway. I can't get up there, so I'm going to walk around. Shitters and like, a shitter having a negative effect. Most players are shitters. <laughs> I think... I remember there's one year people were going on about they should have easy mode and more RPGs, like story mode. Not easy, but like, you know, where basically you can't die and everything's like, you play it just for the story. I kind of against that to some degree, because I feel like... I don't know, you ruin a game if you make it too easy. Oh my fucking god. What is this accuracy? I could have just done that all along. That was what was great about Morrowind. If an NPC was being a douche and you murdered him, they may have been important. Yeah. And they had a strip club. Let's not forget that. Morrowind had a degenerate strip club. I'm just going to take all your shit and hope for the best. Psycho. Where'd the other guy go? Is his dead body fall down? Alright. Anything else here before I jump down? What you could hide? Whiskey will come in handy. Our trunk's empty. Are you fucking shitting me? You guys literally have nothing. I had crown. I'll take crown. Oh, you see that skill? You see that skill? Shot the weapon out of his hand. Oh, God. Ow. Ow. Moment of skill. Quickly replaced by a moment of anguish. Uh-oh. Uh, is this the channel better than mine? I think it probably is. I'll take that. Okay. Can I sleep somewhere? Is that bed? Wait. Does wait and restore stuff? I can't remember. Nope. It does not. 
Oh, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Love it. Wait for an hour, nothing. Sleep for an hour, and my whole day's looking better. That's why I like Boa's Gate. I killed a rogue dude, that's here, and whoever just for having the nerve to hold a knife to my neck. That's hilarious. I, I almost done that. Um, I did die on my first Boa's Gate 3 run pretty quickly, because I tried to make out with the Mind Flare, but, you know, it's just... I didn't think it would end the game, and my save was quite far back, so that, that was kind of... Um, disheartening but it was funny i learned from it and it was a funny experience and it was just like it taught me a valuable lesson i think which way to rivet c i want to say this way hey let me check my arrow i got the security armor but i think it's in pretty shit condition so let's put on the yeah glasses okay maybe not get the security hammer Media weapons plus five. Probably wouldn't good. There we go. Raider armor. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Oh, the armor jump. 15, 10. All this time, I could have probably worn this and my life would have been a lot easier, but I didn't. I'm an idiot. Let's so check the weapons out. Uh, got nothing there. Chinese pistol. Takes 10 millimeter ammo. So might as well not worry about that. Lead pipe. Got that. Science 10 millimeter. Hmm. Lead hammer. Get rid of that one. Hockey. Oh. Hockey that one. What pistol gun? I'll drop it. Interesting. I haven't any stim packs on. Never mind. Never mind. Go to sleep. You're not Chuck Norris. Yeah. I could try and take on the whole wasteland by myself, but I'm not high enough level. Unlike Chuck Norris. Uh, I guess that time with the drop down gate and the woman's like, when they come in, I'm closing this gate, whether you're in or not. So I dropped the gate and pushed her off. Wow. I think you take role play to the next level. Oh! What? I can't remember if they're friendly or not. Hello, friend. Name's Paladin Bale. What do you need, civilian? The brothers are still. <clears throat> I can see you're trying to appeal to my good nature. Pity for you, I don't have one. Oh. I'll give you this one for free. We use our big guns to kill big super mutants. So people like you can sleep at night. Okay. Uh, what is this place? You're standing in front of the Citadel. Headquarters to the Brotherhood of Steel. Citadel? Capital That's very religious. Can I come in? Negative. No super mutants, civilians, or traveling salesmen allowed. Which are you? Uh, I have to go now. Of course. Good talk. Good talk. All right. Where's Rivet City then? Is that further down? Must be further down. Brother nice still sounds a bit suggestive. I mean, what are they suggesting? What do you think they're suggesting? It's not Brotherhood of Dongs. I can't remember the brother of still um quest line on this one from being honest. I remember it on four, but not so much on here. I need to get to Rivet City. I'm pretty sure across the river. I'm on the wrong side of the river. Let's see if I go further down. I am getting to the territory though where things are gonna get a lot harder. That's what she said. Look at it. Isn't it wonderful? That's the thing. If you make a game about a desolate wasteland, it gives you an easier time as the developers, you know, graphically. Can I get round this way? I don't think I can. Do, do, do. Big building. 
being New Vegas were awesome, but the bird time were a little broken. Then again, it was a Bethesda game. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, there's a boat. We found a boat. Oh, this is the DLC. I don't want the DLC. Nah, no mods. Just vanilla. Oh, no. No, no. This is the... Yeah, this is... I. You! Are you going to point lookout? I need your help. I am not. My daughter stowed away on the Duchess Gambit a few weeks ago, and I've been worried sick ever since. I haven't heard anything from her, but if you're going there, could you look right, I've got to run. Please, don't I'll do now. anything I'll be still watching to the stream help. For us, uh. That's alright, you can always watch the VOD tomorrow. Uh, I'm kind of busy. Find her on your own. Please. I'm not asking for much, but if you're going to Point Lookout and you find a girl Actually, named Nadine, amazing. just give her this note. She stowed away on that boat, and I haven't heard from her ever since. I'll do anything if it'll help find her. I need to be going. Please, find my daughter. What's with everyone losing their kids around here? It's kind of bad. Empty, empty. Empty. Welcome, my friend. I am Tobar the Ferryman, and this fine vessel is the Duchess Gambit. We're just back from Point Lookout, but it won't be long before we set off again. Interested? No. Ah, but he's not here now, is he? And besides, I'm no stranger. I'm Tobar the Ferryman, at your service. Uh, I have to go now. Good travels to you. No, no issues with it crashing. Um... What I will say though is so when I did Oblivion, on the launcher there's an option to tick HDR and honestly it kind of just kept crashing when I did that for Oblivion. On here though, uh, I've ticked it and it's been fine. So maybe just check that on your own settings. Um, I did have to download something I think as well like a uh, net framework or some shit. I can't remember. But it's been smooth. Uh, fresh install today. No issues. Um, ultra settings as well for graphics because you know, gotta get that ultra setting. I should remake my border green. I just realized. Uh, do I want to run back to the bridge or should I just. What the fuck are you? You okay? Catherine is fleeing. Okay, well. I could fast travel actually. If I fast travel. The wharf. Yeah, Steam, Steam. I always avoid Game Pass just because Game Pass go Game Pass. Plus, you can use mods on the Steam version. But yeah, it's been alright so far. No complaints. Alright. Just avoid the landmines and we'll be absolutely fine. And that's why I don't speak, because I do shit like that. Uh, I might regret coming here. I feel like this is going to be a big adventure itself. So, oh, I can already hear. Wait, who are we attacking? Oh my god, he just killed the dog! You bastard! Where's the scavenger gone? Poor dog. Now I have dog meat. Get Hello. From that. Finders keepers, I'm warning you. Shut I'm up. not looking for trouble. But if you don't back off, I'm not afraid to defend. Get away from that. Can we just to be friends? Keepers, I'm warning you. <laughs> Get away from that. Alright, I'm away. Finders keepers, I'm warning you. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. We are we are friends. We are super duper friends. Get away from that. Ah, uh, oh, fuck this noise. Bye. Uh oh. Where? Uh oh. What's the matter, huh? Uh oh. I've got no ammo. You lost karma. Yeah, but I just gained a bunch of ammo, so I don't care. I might actually gain too much stuff. 
I should just well, fuck all. Oh, he's got a nice hat. Take that. Alright, worth it. Totally worth it. Every uh, user needs uh, to fix many bugs and minor errors, but I think later versions came with it. Put gun away. Oh. 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 You're telling me that he didn't want to talk to me because I had a gun? Well, you know, um, there are lessons in life which are sometimes hard to learn. And. Stop me. And today I learnt uh, you probably should have paid more attention to what he was trying to tell me, but we we are where we are, and you know things happen for a reason. So can't really say much about that. Yeah, he's dead. I'm not. I guess. Well, I don't want that. It's just not that. I have traded with him though. He might. I need to sell some shit. I've got so much shit on me. I've been hoarding. The thing is, if I looked at chat, I would have spoiled that fun interaction where I shot him in the face. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> the amount of you is just like put the gun away. It's like, oh. I'm just not used to your American culture. I'm not going to the sewer. This, this looks like a nice place. Any, anyone inside? Is it going to be nice in here or bad in here? I don't know. The hat makes it worth it. Oh, hello. Ladies, gentlemen. Who the hell are you? Oh, hi. Never mind. You need a drink. Cherry, I'm thirsty over here. Who are these girls and where are their clothes? Ha <laughs> ha! They're my party girls. I'm too much man for just one woman, so I need two. <laughs> I wear them out every night. Why should they bother getting dressed when I'm just going to take it off? <laughs> Odd Howard IRL? Question mark. So these girls are just your whores? No. No, we can't call them that. Um. Hey, can I have some of that hooch? Help yourself, clown shoes. Grab one from the liquor cabinet. I never trust anyone without a drink in their hand. Of course, I never trust one that does either. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have another drink? Sure. Didn't I already tell you to? Okay, well, okay. What are you doing out here, way by yourself? Eating, drinking, farting, and screwing. <laughs> out here, nobody bothers me. I can do whatever I like to whoever I want. Do I say the line? I'm going to say the line. I'm going to say the line. Those girls are just your... whores. Hey, watch your language, clown shoes. I don't pay them. They take care of me, so I take care of them. We rub each other wrong all night long. <laughs> I like this guy. Okay, I better go. Don't let the door hit you in the ass, clown shoes. Ha <laughs> ha! Hi there, big boy. Oh, she could be a big boy. Is there anything in here? Oh my god. At the time of his life. I just... Let's explore a little bit. Is there anything in here? Oh, I see what they're doing. Demonetized. I mean, you ain't gonna notice. Just in case. Just because this game can be so fucky sometimes. Oh no, I've lost karma. Yeah, I could go fuck. Take. Over. I took some stuff. I'm not sure if I should. <laughs> uh, hang on. I've got two sledgehammers. I know. One. Hi, iron. Let's drop that. What's my weight on that? 225. I don't need two Chinese pistols. Mm. 
I hate having to drop stuff all the time. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Anything in here? I feel like there should be like a bobblehead or something. Yes, good book. What's the book? Wait, where, where's the book, Commander? Should be on the misc, right? Was on the journals. Read. Yay! Unarmed and creased. Exploring this little trash house. That's fine. Alright, awesome. He's going to bed, and I'm going out the front door. Oh shit. Oh shit. You good or bad? Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Why is it doing no damage? Uh, I'm gonna murder you by running around in a circle. Uh, power armor? Can I wear power armor? But I like want that. Stupid enclave. Fuck you. Oh, well that was stupid. That was really stupid. I didn't do what I thought it did. I should have read that. <laughs> okay, we good? We good? You become addicted to whiskey. Excellent. Excellent. It's all going right. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so power armor? Where is it? Unclay power armor, yes. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Well, that's rubbish. I need power armor training. This ain't good. I'm, I'm close to being dead. The AI does not understand strafing. This is very true. Uh, I hate to do this, but I'm just going to fast travel out. I'll have to come back. I've got a point of like, interest anyway. Let's go back to Megaton. Yes. This is fine. I'm fine. The world might be spinning slightly, but I, I'm fine. Go to the clinic. Wait, is this the clinic? This is the clinic. Here, yeah, doctor. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. You need a stash. You, bother mm. me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule. I'll keep you patched up. I'll keep getting paid. Okay, I'm hurt. I need a doc. Good lord, this'll take some work. Um... Uh... I need. I'm addicted. I can take. That'll be fifty. Okay, kill me. All right. Now, the reason I did this because I think I could buy a stim pack for cheap. This is for that right. free. That should do it. You need. That's all I need. Okay then. I could just sleep and stuff to get my health back. I don't want to pay a hundred. It seems like excessive. Plus, the minute he turns his back, I'm gonna rob him. Oh, damn it. Eesh. Oh, that's the concussion. Oh, that's fine. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. <laughs> Women and children of the earth making a move. Huh? Where are you going here? And behold. The brass lantern. Can I interest you in it? Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. We get people trying to settle mm. down here all the time. You don't look like the type. Anyway. Alright. 
Uh, trade, trade. What's on the menu? Sorry, hon. The noodle stand is closed. Ah, oh, god damn it! All right, I'll come back. Come back if you need something. I need to sleep, and I need to buy stuff. I can wait until the morning. Let me see if the scrap place is open. Children are out. Oh, there's the concussion again. The armory. No, don't mean to do that. Oh, where's the lady house? The house of the lady. Nice lady. It's upstairs, I know. Do, do, do. Just don't mind me. Just walk around, slightly concussed. Everything's spinning. My world hurts. Here we are. Don't even think of breaking in. Okay, I'm not breaking in, you loser. Uh, eight o'clock. When everyone wakes up. Oh my god. I can't see. I've gone blind. All right, we're back. I need a stim pack desperately. Come, help, help me. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather. I'm not really comfortable getting ready. Not even for humanity. Uh, do, 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 do. What do you need? Okay, here we go. We're gonna take a bunch of those. I would like a stim pack, please. We'll take we'll take all of those, and in return, I will give you the best bunch of pistols I have ever found. Look at all these beautiful pistols. And would what's that? You would like a BB gun and BBs? Yeah. Wow. How about a baseball bat? Yeah. Some cameras. Part of cigarettes. Uh, what else have I got? A damage gnome. A dog bowl. I can see the problem I have in this game. I seem to pick up a lot of shite. Fire ant nectar. Uh, battery. Monica. No. Alright, I think we're going to be good. Rad X. Yeah. Now oh, I'm getting paid. Let's go. Anything else? Anything else? No, I've got to keep the hat. Got to keep my brother toaster. Except, boom. Good hunting. Thank you. Good luck with that reason. So now I have to equip the stim pack again, but hey. Ah, oh, beautiful stim packs. Look at that. I feel much better already. Isn't it glorious? I'm back to full health. And no one would know the difference. Look at him. He's so handsome. The most handsome man in all of the wasteland. Alright. I think this is a good place to put a pin in it. So, I'm going to end the stream there. I might play this again, I feel. I feel like I'm enjoying it. So, I will probably carry on the adventure. I might actually swap between Oblivion and Fallout. Just keep swapping. Swapping and changing. The VODs, you know, allow people to get up to speed. So it works out for me. And I might try Fallout 76. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll try it. It's hard to say. But appreciate you guys for watching. It's been a wonderful stream. And I appreciate everyone who watches the VOD as well. You guys also are little sneaky little goblins who watch my content without letting me know. I like that. Um, but yeah, leave a like if you want to see more Fallout, obviously. More likes, the more likely I am to do it. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend, unless you're in the UK, in which case, happy Monday. And I'll catch you guys later on. And watch my latest video, if you can. That'd be great. That'd be really good. But anyway, catch you in a bit. Bye, guys. Bye.